All right, so now we're going to start our banter for the beginning of the episode. <laughs> and go. Okay, cool. Now the banter starts. Okay, I was in the bathroom. Okay. Oh, no. But I thought of this He's earlier today on the drive home. So, joke. so today we had lunch with a few people. Did Laura, you, you were not true. there. No, you I wasn't. Be there, I dipped. Sorry. It's okay. But uh, our friend. <laughs> our <laughs> Yeah, Alyssa was mad. I wasn't. No. <laughs> She was pissed. This is not uh, real. Our friend JD uh-huh. told us about the ceremony spell, which I did not realize existed. Oh, um, oh ceremony. Ceremony, yeah. where, you yeah. can, where you can make a magical ceremony happen. And mm. I thought on the way home. They did that in um, EXU. In oh, Calamity, did they? I think. He tries to do, he tries to do like atonement with like Asmodeus or mm. something. Oh, that's right. Crazy I remember thing. this. That's right. Yeah. Yes. That's right. And it's like, well, how does that even One work? of them is marriage. And you can like you your AC gets buffed you for the two married? people. Yeah, you can yeah. make you it's can like get two married weeks for for two, <gasps> for two weeks, weeks. Your AC gets buffed. But I was By thinking, two? yeah, you get what? plus two AC if because you're within you a certain somebody. amount of feet. Yeah, from each if other. you're within thirty but feet of each other. I was thinking it would be kind of fun where uh, y- you get like two characters for like a long form campaign or something, and the two characters got like a permanent ceremony spell placed on them where they got married but they didn't want to be married and they wanted to each marry other people. <laughs> but in order to do that, they had to break the marriage spell and figure out like where the guy went that got that married them together oh. <laughs> and just see where it goes, you know? Funny. Like they kind of hate each other great. because they're stuck together. But they also like are stronger when they're together. But are also stronger when they're together <laughs> so wait, and then it becomes like a whole fun. enchanted so then, thing yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Whirlwind Chronicles. Yeah. Um, Hello. Seventh episode. Wow. And yeah. Wow. The, yeah. Seven, baby. Uh, if yeah. anyone uses that idea I just threw out, make sure to tag me in the comments. Of what? Like my, a, my character idea. We're I just getting, let him know. We're getting oh. audience let me know interaction if you here. I, get, I see what you're doing. Nice. Tag nice. him in your comments. So um, last time we went to... Um, the oh, apocalypse oh, with vampires yeah. that overrun the world and yeah. um yeah that was and we were stuck there for two weeks i i that's right yeah i'm gonna be honest i had a whole different plan for how that was gonna end <laughs> and uh and like it just changed completely anyway that's um cool. so Let's go ahead and roll for this episode then. Okay. Um, what are we rolling it. and who's rolling Let's what? Let's start with the DM. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh boy. Here Since we it's go. my turn to choose, I'm going to say let's start with the DM. Everyone roll a d20, except for me. All right, ready? Interesting. Three. Joe already rolled. Two, I rolled. One. I rolled a five. Alyssa has a face. Alyssa rolled high. She rolled real Alyssa, high. What right. do you roll? I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> Let's Again! No go. Again! I rolled a nine. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alyssa, I know you're so excited. This Alyssa, well. you, you look, look very so excited. pumped. I'm, I'm going to be so honest. Excited. I'm ready for just a fun goofy time. Okay, wait. Yeah. I'm, I'm so. going to say this to everyone in the audience, okay? Uh-huh. We just got like the cut of five, Yeah, which was your first episode, oh, Alyssa. Mm-hmm. And uh, I told Laura and you this already. And Josiah, it's one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So it was fun. a fun episode. The chaos was, so was a good time. You're right. Yeah. It's really Fair fun. Enough. You did a great job and Thanks. you're going to do a great job today. Thanks. And it was yeah. just like a fun adventure, you know? Yeah, yeah. Joe, go ahead and ro- uh, roll for the genre and Josiah for the hook. Let me go ahead and read yeah, them real we, quick. Yeah, because we have new things on them, right? Yeah. Yes. Always do. Always do. Oh, right. We replaced last week's, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I did. I okay. hope that's okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, yeah. All right. So for the genre today, we have steampunk, action adventure, silly, mystery, sci-fi, and wild card. I'm still hoping for silly <laughs> war. I want a silly <laughs> war. <laughs> I want a silly war. war is one of the hooks yeah. right now. <laughs> and for the hook, we have wedding, parade, war, Power outage, which is just hilarious. Power outage, Power outage. circus, and wild card. Oh, dude, I hope wow. it's so, I hope it's a silly Joe, war. Let's go ahead and do the genre <laughs> real quick. Ooh, six. Uh, that's wild card. Wild card. Wow, the All setting right, could go. be anything. All right, Josiah. I've rolled a two. That's the smallest dice Parade. I've ever seen. Ooh, it's a random. <laughs> Oh yes! It's a parade. Ooh, a parade. I'm excited. Oh my! I'm excited. A Are you now? Genre I am. Parade. Okay. It could be anything, Alyssa. Anything. Fun fact about parades: if you're stupid, you can pronounce it party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
These are the Whirlwind Chronicles. Welcome in. We find ourselves on a beautiful day. Uh, it's been a it's been a probably a couple weeks since our last adventure where um, where our group stayed away for two full weeks um, and kind of had some time of self reflection and maybe getting to know each other a little more. Um, so it's it's been a little while since then, um, and you can see the leaves are starting to change, the air is getting crisper, everybody's wearing. Probably something a little warmer. I want to hear that actually soon, but um, the leaves are starting to turn these beautiful reds and oranges, and um, there's like maroons out in nature. It's it's really beautiful. Of course, it's turning to autumn, um, and as you arrive, yeah, it's one of the chillier days you've had in a while, and you would know that right now, um, t- uh, today, in fact is the day that we celebrate the Feast of Plenty. (laughs) And um, you're still planning on spending some time in the whirlwind, but um, you know that later today there's the Feast of Plenty Parade uh, and some some fun things in Woodbine. But you've got to do your duty first. (laughs) Um, So I would love to know, get a little... uh, outfit update from everyone what are you wearing now that it's turned turned autumn that it's a little chillier outside um let's start with you eddie Ooh, outfit of the day yeah yeah (laughs) what i what i realized about my outfit is that i actually never really spent that much time thinking about it or describing it in detail until i was asked hey what's ace's ritual what does he do when he walks into yeah. The observatory, and then I somehow just missed that question and just gave head to toe what he was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. That's funny. Oh yeah, I that's love that. that. And that I, was what, I re- episode three. Or I something? think it was episode three, and I listened to that, and I was like, I cannot believe I just <laughs> did. I just the bungled question. that question so terribly. <laughs> I but didn't also, even that was somehow the most like detailed <laughs> that's hilarious. description of what he looks like. Good. That's, funny. <laughs> that's funny. Outfit of the day. Yes. Outfit of the day. Anyway. She's probably wearing a jumper over like a collared shirt. Um, she probably has like jeans on and Ugg boots. Um, she's like got that classic girl fall outfit. <laughs> um, probably a scarf and a jacket. Infinity scarf? Um, no. Okay, good. No, good, I, good. I would say it's like a little plaid. Sure. Scarf. Nice. And, uh, she probably wears a little hat custom made for tiefling, so her little horns can still have room to stick out of the top. What kind of a hat? I would say it's like a cute little knit hat. Okay. Like a little woolen like a beanie? Yeah, like okay. a little cute little knit woolen hat. Sure. Um, is there a palm on top? I'm sorry, I need to know the details. No, I don't think she would wear a palm on top. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, and she's like, it's probably getting towards like the end of the semester, I'm assuming. Eddie is probably really focused on like studying and all that stuff in her free time. And uh, yeah, as the weather gets cooler, um, she gets a little grumpier. She doesn't like it. She prefers the heat. Very much unlike Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the cold. Yes. So. Me too. Uh, but yeah. Cool. Nice. nice. Good. How about you, Wallace? Uh, Ace is um, kind of putting some finishing exterior touches on this bunker that he <laughs> continues to work on. Uh, and at one point he takes a break and walks out to a pond that's nearby and just kind of like looks at his reflection and it's just shaking his head, still thinking about the last adventure you guys went on um, and is still just, you know, going going through some things in his head and starting to, to doubt that um, or start, starting to realize that he's never really uh, escaped kind of the... Uh, the, the pain of the pressure and expectation that he was living under um, growing up 
and he's now kind of worse off in a sense where he didn't really he didn't really get the closure that he thought he had and the real separation from that and uh, it was just a part of him that he kind of repressed and it came out again when you guys were hanging out with all those elites <laughs> in vampire world mm-hmm. and he's just where am I? You know, <laughs> like <laughs> he fit in too well. Yeah. yeah, cool. So, what about his outfit? And he, <laughs> <laughs> he did it again. He did the exact he, thing. He switched it. He, he switched, switched it. it. I even talked about it too, and I said that was so stupid. That's so funny. That's awesome. Yeah, now that it's cold, he's probably uh, reattached the sleeves to his hoodie that he <laughs> tore off that yeah. one time. He sews them back on every year. <laughs> oh, my God. He saves, his, he saves the sleeves. He yep. saves funny. the sleeves, yeah. Good. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, where he's wearing a, a fully assembled. You know what? Maybe he bought a new hoodie. He's He's been going into town more, uh-huh. yeah. uh, venturing closer and closer to home. Ooh. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I don't know if he's run into that one girl Skylar again but <laughs> was that her name oh yes yes, yes yeah. it was uh and Cal what about you yeah Cal probably is wearing the same thing Cal <laughs> the only a ripped hoodie yeah well no he wears his biker jacket everywhere the only thing Cal really ever changes in his outfit is whether he decides to wear the biker jacket or if it's too hot to wear the biker jacket it's just other like a than t-shirt that it's pretty that. much the same thing it, yeah it's like band t-shirts uh yeah, he really doesn't change much. Um, maybe he'll get a new pair of pants, mm. but okay. he'll wear these jeans until they rip all the way, you know? <laughs> Good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he doesn't change very much. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But he is getting kind of excited that it's getting cold. Unlike Joe, who hates the cold, <laughs> he is probably getting a little pumped Yeah. yeah. Uh, that it's getting colder. It's moody weather. Our yeah. characters are the opposite. Yeah. I know. It's kind of weird. Wait, I have a quick question. Is a jumper a type of uh, sweater? I was thinking I figured like a that wasn't what you meant. Yeah. So. But yeah, I think. I think. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Juniper probably is now wearing still denim overalls, but now they're long pants. <laughs> Cute. Uh, and she's probably got some like more. Maybe they're like fleece lined Timberland. Bimberland. Um, so she's got some warmer boots on. And she wears, um, yeah, a cute little. Uh, beanie but with a palm on it yeah <laughs> that, she's got that the cute little tracks. palm yeah, and it it's like out. it's probably bright red so like it's in like stark contrast with her cream colored hair Aww. cute um and she's just kind of like bopping around <laughs> um juniper is just the cutest <laughs> uh and she probably has like a flannel like a really thick flannel that she wears over her um One over those, like, her overalls lines. yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah 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 so she's nice. just having a good time um cool so uh you all arrive uh, at the whirlwind or at the conservatory um observatory oh the conservatory <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> the conservatory is where juniper wishes she was <laughs> yes honestly that's, i'm just thinking like june <laughs> so you all arrive at the observatory um just like you do on any other given day um kind of go about your usual rituals um I think I think June would probably uh, ask. Um, h- how's how's everybody doing? I mean, we we kind of had a lot going on. It's getting cold outside. Well, I know that. <laughs> which means it's almost fa weather. Oh, I love fa. I do love fa too. Mm. All the plants are getting ready to go to sleep, take their little naps. Mm. It's gonna be nice. It's Is everyone doing okay though? I. Doing We've well. kind of had a lot going on. Ace, how are winters for you, my friend? Like when it gets cold, does your your shack in the woods keep you warm? A lot That's of fires. Yeah, yeah. I've I've designed it uh, with kind of a chimney system, and I think the bunker will be will be even warmer as mm. well. Um, I think I'll probably spend a good bit of the winter. You guys could come hang out sometime. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. That would is be, how yeah. how are you doing on the bunkers? It like it's no it's pretty much done. No, yeah, I'm so busy. I, like I I've been doing like kind of the last touches of, of the entranceway, uh, the few exterior parts that it has, and yeah. Oh. Well, once it is perfectly finished, I mean, I think we'll it's pretty go. much done. Well, once it's it once sounds it's like pretty done, much, done, so maybe not know? totally done. Right. I mean, that's the thing about the 
the structures I build is they could be added onto forever. Right. But yeah, it's done enough where it, you know. I could stop for a long period sure. of time unless I, I have another idea of something sure. to add. Well, but next time we have know. some time. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And, it, you know, if you have any other ideas to add to it, you know, you should do those. And then we'll come see it once it's once it's once it's finally done. Well, I think what I'm saying is it's ready for you to see now. Actually. Well, right. Yeah. But it sounds like there might be more that you add on. Okay, what should I add to it? I don't know. What does it not have? You know what? Why don't you come check it out and you can you can tell me what you think it sounds because it sounds like you have some ideas. (laughs) You know what, Cal? That's a really you should definitely go and see it and they can give you some good ideas. That's my thing is I'm out of ideas. ideas. That's why I'm saying. Well, Well, you're better at that than I am. Right, but you could help like also, get the I live ideas indoors, started. You know? I live inside. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. right, but a bunker is inside because it's it's underneath the ground, so it's an inside. You guys, I am so cold right now. Can we just go? <laughs> Eddie, you, I, something I didn't mention. She probably wears like two sets of oven oven mitts, <laughs> oven, <laughs> not oven mitts, not oven mitts, of like little mitts. winter mitts over her hands. She's got She's like got her the hand warmers, yeah, in there. mittens, mittens, yes, mittens. She's got like her like hat is like pulled all the way down, like further down than it needs to be over like she's just like sitting there like she's uh, <laughs> Eddie you complain about the cold every year Eddie the cold is so wonderful I don't like it but it's so good for everyone and it's fall weather and, and it gets all the gray change and it's so beautiful you know it's like all gray and then you get a little I just, sleet I just you know when the sn- when the rain freezing like cold. <sighs> well makes me angry it'll be okay yeah it's uh, June June will walk over to Eddie and like pull her hat around her ears a little closer you'll be okay and like and like like make sure her coat's like around her but she's real short so she's just trying to like Aww. help her <laughs> june yeah, why do you like the her. cold so much because all the plants go away i know that they all go away but it's really good for them because that means that they're holding in all their nutrients and they're staying nice and big and strong and they're building up all of the strength and then when spring comes they just grow and grow and grow because they saved all their energy all winter it's beautiful hmm what about the plants that die? Well, because I feel like dying in the winter. Oh, all right. I, Eddie, that's pretty Eddie dramatic. Gets so Eddie. emo in the winter time. Well, for the yeah. plants that die, that's just kind of the circle of life, and that's just how it goes. The uh-huh. the cycle of nature. But you shouldn't die in the winter. I don't think I would like that. I could die from the cold. I don't I think, don't so. think I you think will. I could. I, I think know. it might kill me this year. I think you're well, literally from the exposure, hey, Eddie. I think you're going to be fine. We should just, hey, just let's go somewhere okay, and see. Okay. Maybe it's warm there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is what I was saying. That could let's be fun. go. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. So Guess everybody goes to their little stations and does their little, you know, their 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 thing, yeah. their ritual, yeah. what they normally do. We do our little thing. Their tradition. Um. Yeah. So I assume Eddie walks over, places the book on the pedestal. Yep. And we see. The room is flooded with flooded with blue light and um, you know, there's kind of some some papers start rustling or whatever, there's a little slight breeze in the room. As the rolling starts up, you're off to wherever your next destination is. Um, as your surroundings calm down and you clearly have landed, what would you like to do? Same thing, I'm gonna go check the book. I'll open the door. Woo. Okay. Uh, you go over to the book, and you can see at the top of the book a little line has appeared, and it says, "Save the day." <laughs> oh, that's so cute! <laughs> oh, we gotta save the we day. We gotta save the day. Save the day, Cal. Uh, you walk over to the door, and you open up the door. All right. And um, I want you to make a perception check. Sure. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, 18. Nice. Okay. So you look out this door and you're a little confused. You see trees. You see a little path that looks really familiar. And it takes you a second because this is just so unexpected. And you realize this is just the entrance to the observatory. Guys, we didn't go anywhere. I think it broke. Huh? Huh? What? We're still here. No, you're you're wrong. What do you mean? She'll, right. walk over, she'll walk over to I'll, the doorway I'll and take out, a look herself. Uh, Ace will walk outside. Uh, you walk outside and 
Uh, do, do you? Does everyone walk outside? No, I'm standing in the doorway. Okay. Yeah, Ace would walk outside and is trying to immediately kind of check like the immediate surroundings, uh-huh. maybe even turning around and looking to mm-hmm. see like is there something physically sure. uh, wrong with the mm-hmm. observatory? Okay. Um. So you uh, make a um, perception check. Is his bunker still there? I don't know. I mean, it's Isn't not. Isn't it kind of far off? It's not like right there. I mean, it's like kind of like into the tree line, so you yeah, wouldn't actually you wouldn't be able to directly there. see it from like outside the front door. Not a great perception check, actually. I rolled a nine. Okay. Can I do one? Sure. But are, you're not going out, though. <laughs> Natural one. Uh, okay. Um, actually, I'll have June roll one as well. I did a roll an 18. Do I learn anything else other than I recognize the path? Uh, well, you see that this is... You, it, it doesn't seem like you've moved. Okay. Yeah, it seems like this is just your regular whatever. Um, June rolled an 18 as well. Um, June will walk out with Ace. I, I don't think... It doesn't seem like we've left. This is home, isn't it? Yeah, this feels like we haven't left. Wait, guys. wait, 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 wait. And Eddie runs back over to the book and flips through, forward, flips back. And Eddie, then you sure you she did it looks correctly? At the, it says save the day. It gave us a task. You guys, you guys, it said it gave us a task. I, well, what, what do you think that means? She picks up the book and she runs back over to her friends. You guys, it gave us a task. This doesn't make sense. I, I don't... Okay, well... It says, save the day. Okay, so so maybe... maybe it didn't... Did it... Close the door. Yeah, come back May, inside. Yeah, Let's close I think the we door should all go inside maybe and just... Maybe it didn't go right? Yeah. Huh? Okay. okay, okay. Let's all go inside. Okay. Okay, you guys all... I put it back on the pedestal and mm-hmm. step back like it's gonna... Something's gonna happen. Okay. I, I go around and make sure that everything is plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> With all the... Yes, okay. Um, okay, and you all... You all go inside. You reassume positions. Nothing happens. Ace, maybe we didn't focus right. That's an audio yeah, joke for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you take... Everyone takes three points of psychic damage. <laughs> um, uh, that's an audio joke. And how long have you had that one in the chamber? So dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, right. Okay, so nothing's happening. Eddie's going to run over to the book and look at it again. Has anything changed? Just says save the day at the top. Guys, I am so confused. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe this isn't really our place. Maybe it's like an alternate version. Oh. Thoughts? Should we go? Yeah, look? maybe like Should the Should we just go look changed. around? Sure. I mean, I, I guess. I just wanted to. Yeah, it still feels cold out. It's still cold out. It feels pretty much exactly the same, really. Wait, hey, how Eddie, are we going to know? Fine. How will we know if when we go into town, how will we know if it's like the same or an alternate one? Beats me. Well, again, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask Ace. Ace, uh, you have stuff in your in your bunker, right? Or you made a bunker, and have you put stuff in there? Um, I mean, I have like su- supplies. More well, of the stuff that I usually should, carry maybe around. You should check, check the bunker, and if your supplies are not there or in different spots or something, maybe that I, is a way of yeah, knowing it's I different. Do Guys, think let's, let's go look at my bunker. I think Come we on, should all, all stick us, together. Yeah. Well, you go check that. No, and no, no. I'll we, go should check. Cal, we should Cal, all stick I think together, we should guys. all stick together because we don't know what's going on and we don't want right. to get like separated from each other. Eddie packs so up the book in her backpack. go check on the book. June, why did you get us? This is your fault. How is this you got this. Is it? No, How go check it on the bunker. It's my fault. All right, let's go to the bunker. Okay. And... Ace has a, or Cal has a big smile on his face, but is like closing his eyes almost. <laughs> He's like, let's go. <laughs> Eddie's double wrapped her scarf around her face now. She can't even see her mouth. Eddie, it's not that cold. It's literally, it's I'm only. Freezing. It's It's not even winter yet. It's just autumn. So. All right. She steps outside. All right. And I lead everybody towards where my bunker should be. Okay. So as you all leave, you do see the observatory door close behind you. I'm going to double check it that it's not locked. Oh. Yeah. Um, you check the door? Yeah. It's locked. Well, okay. Great. I mean, clearly we're supposed to be here, I guess. Wait, so did the yeah. observatory send us on a mission in Woodbine? Well, it must be like some alternate version, because that... I mean, because we clearly before. left. Yeah, maybe we went back in time. I mean, it went on the whole... Oh. Maybe we traveled back in time oh to gosh, Woodbine. Let's, yeah, let's see. What if we see ourselves? <gasps> What that if there's so another version cool. of me that here? That would be so this interesting. Is we could so change boring. Guys, we have to fight ourselves. <sighs> it's supposed to send us these cool, awesome places. It just sends us home. Hey, home's cool. Well, I mean, we haven't Sometimes. really spent a lot of time here lately, you know? <sighs> okay. Um, After you, Ace. All right. All right. So uh, Ace uh, leads everybody on 
I, what it's really just a quick journey over a hill, um, yeah. a long awaited journey for Ace. So I, I, I assume <laughs> so he's got excited. a he's pretty got big pep, pep in his step. step. Yeah, <laughs> watch the bunker's he's not thrilled. Gonna be there. <laughs> um, as we, I don't know, round the corner, go over the hill to where your bunker bunker is. Please describe what we see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's so excited. I'm All sorry. Right. So. Uh, it's kind of built out of this uh, large, like particularly thick tree. So the root system is uh, rather vast at the foot of it, uh, big enough that uh, the entrance is kind of a hole that's dug with like these two roots kind of uh, framing this hole in that you actually like walk down into and there's a door underneath. And it's oh. uh, kind of, you can see it's kind of like aligned with like, uh, it, it's just dug um, and there's, you can just see like the other tree roots that you're walking like through and among as you're, there's like a short path once you get down under the tree to where the door is underground. Ace, how many of these roots did you destroy to make this? Uh oh. Um, not enough I to kill this tree. It's a very large tree. I thought he was um, going to stop at not enough. <laughs> <laughs> not enough. Not enough. I could have come okay, more. Okay, well you no, need to be really careful. It's, it's fine. This okay. tree is still very much alive. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be. Hey, it's gonna go into hibernation and get stronger, anyways, right? Oh yeah, that's how it works. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, and okay, so. if it if it helps, because these, uh, I mean, there's still a lot of roots left, and they're gonna start growing again. Yeah. And when they do, I'm just gonna train them to go around, or I'm gonna tie them off. Oh, and okay. Yeah, so that way I only have to cut them once. Well, that's good. Yeah. I can. I can. I can. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I live in the woods too. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so he lead the way. Yeah. So he opens the door, um, and walks in. Do you guys follow him? Yes. Yeah. yeah Cal goes last, but he goes in. All right. <laughs> um, and it's kind of like torch lighting here, so it's a little bit uh, dim. But your eyes have kind of adjusted because it, it already got dark when you walked down. And um, did we? We sorry. We established that we had all like gone to the same uh, school, right? High yes. school. Yes. Okay. Great. Um, if we were one, roll a mm. history check. Mm. Ooh. Seven. Slutty 20. 16. Hmm. So, um, Eddie and June uh, realize that this is, so it's kind of like one large area that you walk into. It's not like, um, it's not like a whole house where there's like a, a hallway or, um, yeah, it's not like a hallway where the, there's rooms that go off. It's just kind of one open like room. A studio. Yeah, but you both immediately recognize the layout of this room uh, as the like main living room from Wallace's house, where oh. all of y- your the parties in high school used to be. Oh <laughs> man! Ace. Oh. Cal maybe was not at a lot of these parties, or maybe he I probably was, was outside. I, yeah, I wasn't yeah. paying attention. Yeah, Ace, is isn't this just like? If doesn't it just like feel like home? Like you just walk in and it's just like ah, you know. I I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just oh, well, it's it kind of made a dirt so homey. Yeah, but that could be it too. Kind of like the earthy. I mean, or the um, layout, you know, and um. Uh, yeah, uh, it reminds Cal- me of your parents' layout. Yeah, actually, Cal, Cal, I'm gonna have you roll a perception check uh, since you guys are not now in here and probably walking around a bit more. Fifteen, fifteen. Uh, you see uh, uh, off against the one wall, there's like kind of this large tin bucket full of like a deep brown liquid. <gasps> are you kidding? Is that? And there's a there's like a wooden pole over it and there's like a string tied to the pole that's going into the water uh ace what is this oh oh i totally forgot about this and he uh takes the pole and uh pulls it out and on the other end of the string is a uh, cowboy hat uh that's oh brown and it's like dripping <laughs> and <laughs> dying his hat bro <laughs> and he just he just un- unties it and kind of uh Put it, like hangs it off to the side off of a root <laughs> sticking out of the wall and he's like alright oh, we're just gonna let so this dry funny. that is my favorite thing I've oh ever heard that gosh. is really funny oh my, word. oh my word that's awesome you're dot wait is this the house you got 
from the time we went to that western place hat? Yeah, yeah. It's brown now. Isn't it great? You really wanted a brown hat. I think I made that pretty clear. You <laughs> you did. <laughs> You're not wrong. I mean, this is how long did it take you to make this ace? Wow. Oh, man. Uh just thousands of minutes working on this. <laughs> ace yeah. Ace, don't you think that this looks like the living room at your parents' house? I just have to say it. I mean I was thinking the same thing. It does? Yeah. yeah. It's the same exact actually huh. Ace, have you Yeah, been that those? area right there and then how, if you how, look around, I mean, like, how that curves, and then... I mean, yeah. it's like, huh. and then there's literally, there's the... I mean... No, I didn't realize it at first, but now that you're pointing things out, right? it kind of kind of does look Ace, a little... Ace, when was I the mean, last the, time you were home? Hey, you know, I guess... I may, maybe there is a... I don't, I don't know. There could be a resemblance there, maybe. Ace, uh, when was the last time you went home? Um, I mean, not, not since I, I ran away kind of after we you get, you, graduated you still haven't been home mm, no but i i've I, i've seen it i've been in the town a couple of times they all, all look like they're doing fine Ace, well i bet they, they would love to alive? see you um i don't know probably we've been probably. hanging out with you for a year and we're just figuring we're just finding out that you haven't told your parents yet I mean, we just kind of I thought just I kind of just assumed, kind of yeah, that you might have told him. You haven't told him yet? No, I was thinking about it, I don't, but... Oh, boy. I didn't... Well, today is the... F- well, well, we need to figure out whether we're in the right dimension um, or whatever alternate I reality. True. I guess there's a lot is going on. Is everything in here exactly the same? I mean, the, that's a good point. The, yeah. It looks to be about the same dimensions that I remember building it. I mean... The, the room's the same size. And the cowboy hat and everything was left there. Like you, I mean, I mean, we did get that cowboy hat, so. Yeah, that I mean, this is, this is right where I left this. And um, the so, furniture that I built is still in here. And, um, oh, that window doesn't, Cal, you can stop looking out that window. That doesn't actually show you anything. We're oh, underground. Right. I yeah. forgot. We're um, underground. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everything's still here. Well, well, okay. So here's the thing. Uh, let's think about this. The whirlwind, the the book. Okay, it's not necessarily from Woodbine, and no. so may you know it's sending us everywhere. Yeah, Woodbine's probably on the list. It's just a place to be sent to. I've well, maybe we just got really but it's weirdly been lucky here. Yeah. I, well, but I think true. I think I think it's the same day and everything because but here's, this yeah. hat hasn't been soaking for that and long. And here's the other thing. Technically, it's huh. parked at the other places too. I guess. Who knows? Maybe the other versions of the observatory are still there. Do you think there are other people on adventures like we are in different Whoa. observatories? I don't. Whoa. I don't think so. I feel like there's only one whirlwind though. Maybe though. I mean, but we don't know. As far as we know from so Prospero, the book shows true. up. What does it want us to do? Save the day at home? I guess so. There's nothing to yeah, save I feel like here. Home it's all kind of boring. It's pretty um, generic. We could too. just go get fa. Maybe saving the that day means well, like we have to idea. save our own day. Just like have a our great day. day. Is, well, like just have a good is, time. Today is the feast it's of plenty, so we also day. should like go see our families. And we could stuff. save Eddie's day because she is really cold. You know what? It would have saved yeah. my day is if we had gone somewhere warm. Wait, maybe oh. that's what we need to do. We oh. could go. We like could the for each of us. We could figure out what would save the day, and then once we <laughs> the Bahamas it out, are now canon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I was about to change the it to a, the, bab- the yeah. Babamas. The Babamas. <laughs> the Labambas. La 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 <laughs> what were you saying, June? Well, I don't know. Maybe we could just um, try to make everybody have a good day today, and that might save the day. Ace, where's we're your We're going to make everybody Ace. have a good day. We could just else. go go around and and um, do really wonderful things with, to everyone, and ah. they will all be really happy. And that sounds like hell ah. to me. Oh, stop it right now. You could take a page out of my book. Ace, where's your bathroom? Um, yeah, if if you just go outside, really anywhere out there is probably <laughs> fine. I, I At would first, think. I thought it might be this bucket. I'm really glad that that was not the yeah, case. Yeah, I thought that oh, was also brown guys. sludge. Cal, there's a there's an out of house where the, where the bathroom Thank would be. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just got up and left. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think once Cal runs out, Edna will be like, okay, I guess. Um. We go to the town. I mean, I, there's no other way to and know what we need to save. And save someone's day. Okay, 
Eddie. W- Eddie. <sighs> what? What is wrong? I'm just annoyed. Why? Because. I just. I just wanted to go on another adventure but we and escape have... a Woodbine, and then it just sends us to Woodbine. I it's know. so boring. Like, okay, no but... one wants to be in Woodbine. But the whirlwind has never been wrong about the places that it sent us. We've always had something to do, and we've always really helped people or, or creatures, or we've always been a help. And if we get to help our own home, that's so amazing. This is a really wonderful thing. I guess so. You know so. All right. Okay. All right, I think she's just resigned to it, and uh... let's go. Let's go into town, uh-huh. and maybe there's we'll That's, find a problem, yeah. and then we'll just fix it. Well, and the parade is soon too. Maybe the parade is the problem. The parade is the problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe there, there is no way that the fe- that maybe, that parade would be a problem. It's I'm so sorry. Wonderful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe there w- would be. There's a problem that could oh, happen at with the, the parade. Uh, yeah. Oh. And the problem would be not good for the parade. Well, I, I think we'll just have to, to go find the problem first instead of talk about it. Let's just go. Okay, yeah. I'm back. Oh. There was a weird bird staring at me the whole time. That oh, was very strange. That's very odd. Oh, yeah, that I, yeah. Uh, Daryl's cool. Just don't don't stare at him too long. Daryl. Yeah. Daryl the bird, of course. How do you know it was Daryl? I just said a bird. There's a lot of birds out here, I'd assume. Uh, yeah, but not underground. There's not that many. You, I went to the outhouse outside, I thought. Oh, you know what? I said outhouse, do but you have a, what I was trying to tell you was there was like an underground restroom that would be like... Got it. Uh, well, my a, next question would be, do you of, just have a bird named Daryl chilling underground watching people go to the bathroom? I mean, there's a bird named Daryl and it's here somewhere. There aren't okay. many rooms, All so right. it's either Anyways. in the back. So, <laughs> Sorry. I think that we should head back to the town. And in the spirit of the Feast of Plenty, I think everyone should say their favorite part of the parade because I'm so excited. Wait, what? Okay, so we're actually going to go help people? Well, no, we're going to go to the town and see if somebody clearly needs help. That's what we decided when you went to the bathroom. That's what you let them decide? What else do you want to do? You know do? what, Cal? What I wanna... didn't have a choice to come to Woodbine. I didn't want to come back here. Okay? Eddie, what were you going to do if we went somewhere colder? Yeah. What if we went At to, like, it would be Antarctica? Cool. That's, That's a... the thing. At least it wouldn't Bantartica? be <laughs> If I wanted to stay home, I wouldn't even going out to the whirlwind. But that is a good it just point. sends me back home. That is a good point. I agree. I am just sick and tired of your attitudes. I'm going. And she just walks out. All right, Eddie follows. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I, tur- I, tur- I turn around to Ace and I say, okay, this place is pretty cool. Yeah, right. Do you have any cool ideas on what could, you know, because I still have to add a bunch okay, of rooms. Okay, that, no, but my mind is trying to think of ideas, so I'll try and figure out something. <laughs> Who talks like that? <laughs> my mind is trying to think okay, of ideas. I talk about that. I talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> you look so dumb right now. <laughs> I s- That's you. This is That's tangent. what you sound like. Thank you so much. So we walk out of the bunker. So we walk out. And, uh... What's my name? June. And, uh, June, as she's walking, she just out loud to nobody in particular because she's not even positive that they're following. She's just, like, mumbling to herself, well, I love the parade, and I love it when all the floats go by, and there's a beautiful flower. And she, like, talks about all of her favorite parts of the parade. And I assume she's probably a couple feet in front of us. Oh, yeah. Like, talking to herself, Uh leading the way. Yes. And I'm next to next to eddie and i just i just got her hands deep in her pockets head slunched yeah and i kind of lean over and i'm like just think about it this way the faster we get done with whatever this is the faster we can go somewhere else because clearly we can't go back in there until we do whatever we got to do here and ace is a few feet behind you guys and earl is on his shoulder and he's like yeah i really think they liked it (laughs) i Cal said he thought it was really cool. Oh man, what we gotta add some new things to it though. We could add, oh, we could do a swing out back. Yeah, oh, I totally right. This is the worst. I'm so mad right now. We should just leave and go get far. That would save the day. That would save my day. And then I lean over one more time. At the first moment of being possibly being able to ditch, we go get far. All right. Deal. Deal. And I reach out my hand to shake yours. Uh, she shakes it. Okay, cool. 
you have so many good ideas. Why can't I consult you? Honestly, I should be getting decorating ideas from you too. No, we're not putting nuts everywhere. Alyssa, is this just like your like ethos? Like this is my inner monologue. Approaching fall, straight up approaching fall. This is my inner monologue. I'm so excited. You don't get it. And it's literally, and my friends are gonna be there, and they're gonna love it. 100%. You're gonna love my it. My friends are gonna be here. Laura's gonna be here. I know it. <laughs> I'm building a gay art movie. Everything's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna love fall. <laughs> and they're gonna love it too. Here with me. <laughs> oh my god. So as our friends continue on the path into town uh, and have their funny little conversations with each other, <laughs> um... You walk, um, it's a, it's not too far to get to the town, um, and soon, um, you can hear, as you're approaching, you can hear that there's all this wonderful festival music, um, you can hear, um, some, there's, like, some banjos playing, and some little, like, like, full bluegrassy kind of bands, you know, like, all playing around, and there's people laughing, and, um, there's probably some dancing, and, it is just a merry little festival going on. Uh, so I guess June is leading the way. So she's going to turn around. Um, okay, so if we're going to go to the festival anyway, I mean, we might as well have some good times, you know. Uh, so do you guys want to go get some, like, some caramel apples to start or something? Just, uh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, follow me. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Ace will put his hood up as they uh, get closer to, like, the center of town. And there's more people around and just kind of you know he walks with his arms closer to his sides he seems a little uncomfortable Mm. june is practically skipping through the streets (laughs) ace when was the last uh parade you went to um because obviously we've been doing this for a year but we didn't go last year or you didn't go last year yeah i i try to not i i be in town when it's going to be too crowded so I actually haven't been to parades for a while well you could just stick close to us they're not that great I mean they're like whatever yeah I mean it, it looks it looks fun but it's it's kind of loud sometimes they have a few balloons but I think the last one that they had like popped in storage so they said they'd have a new one this year but I don't know. That was just a rumor, so I don't know if it's true. Yeah. I could eat. We won't get food. Did somebody mention food? we're getting caramel apples. Okay. Oh, that's right. At this point, uh, you look up, and June is nowhere to be found. June? 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 Oh, well, we can't find her, I guess. Oh, great. Of course. First it sends us home, then we lose June. (sighs) Yeah. Well, well, maybe if we find the caramel apples, we'll find her. Okay, where's caramel apples? That's a great idea. Um, can I do a perception check to see if I can find the uh, caramel apples? Yes. I think it's pronounced caramel, actually. <laughs> Nine. Um, you would see that there's actually, like, y- you. Um, June basically led you to the center of town, and there's a makeshift, makeshift sign that's been placed in the middle that actually kind of points, in the, like, it's a bit of a map of the whole like town square and kind of tells you where the different booths are and the different activities and everything. And you can see that the caramel apple stand is just right around the corner. It's just like down the block. Okay. According um, to the little map. I'll just point to it and start walking towards it. No, I don't even point to it. She just starts walking towards it. Not even caring if people follow her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to follow her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and as you walk towards it from, from, from around the corner, you can see June is holding five caramel apples <laughs> or <laughs> four caramel apples <laughs> and runs around the corner. Oh, you guys are so slow. I got them for us all. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay. Uh, mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, how do you even eat these? We... You just take a big old bite. Really? You don't like lick them? No. I don't know. I've never. No, no, it's got a really nice crunch because it's kind of like it's been it's, like candied a little bit, it's so it has hardened. A really, yeah, it's caramel. A hardened it's, caramel. It's, it's not, not like soft. Again, I haven't eaten one. Okay, I'm just take a big bite. Go. And Cal takes a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it the best thing? I mean, it's like, it's fine. It's, it's really good, good, I guess. Oh, I don't even care. Okay. Can I do a general perception check of problems? <laughs> sure. 
Never one. Hmm. Ooh. Everything seems horrible. Eddie. <laughs> Everything is horrible Everything in your eyes bad. right now. <laughs> Holds her Everything's caramel apple, sadly. Eddie, are you going to take a bite? Hmm. Are, are, are you going to take oh. a bite? It's pretty good. Okay. I mean, it's okay. I, I was a little exaggerating. It's not the best thing you've ever had, but it's really good. He's <laughs> the laziest Ace bite sound. Ace so takes a bite out of his and just kind of like. <laughs> and then just kind of <laughs> stares off into the distance for a second. Uh, are you okay? Oh, yeah. That, that Ace really fun. Kind of, what's up? Yeah, it just really takes you back. Man, that's. I forgot should we about call these? you something else while you're down here? Is that like gonna freak? Like, should we not say? Ace like, wipes around? one tear out of his eye. What? Um, call. Oh. Call oh. me what? Hey, you. You good? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Um, Would do you want us to call you like a different name just so we don't draw attention just on accident maybe? I mean, th- it's not like there's a huge search warrant out oh, for me or something. You should. My go- God. Here we go. You've gotta be Edna kidding me. doesn't even see the face. Before her shoulders just slunch over just a little bit more. I think Cal does the exact same thing. Ace's caramel apple drops to the ground. And he's frozen. I I knew I wasn't crazy. I saw Ace all that time ago. And everyone said I was crazy because I was seeing things again. And here you are again. She was seeing things again. Hi. Oh, hey, Cal. How are you? Hi. Joe forgot her name. That also Skyler. Um, now, wait, really quick pause. What did she sound like? That was exactly what she sounded like. Was that? Yeah. I was like, I can't remember if this is totally wrong. No, that was okay, okay, no, okay. It's, that's what it is. Tyler, hello. Hi, how have you been? I feel like I haven't seen Doing you around as much. Great. Well, yeah, I've just been busy. Oh. With, with stuff. Like with what? Like what have you been up to? Oh, started a new job. Oh my goodness, what yep. are you doing? Um, and Ace, oh my gosh, it's just crazy. I just can't even believe you're here. <gasps> your parents are going to have the lab. They're actually just working the booth right over there. Come on, let's go. Oh, and she oh, grabs your arm. No, no. no, no. And um, she'll start to Yeah, walk. I'm going to grab him the okay, other okay. arm and hey, try and pull him back. Hey, hey, you know what? It's it's all a surprise and you can't tell anybody. That's right. Okay? That's right. A We're surprise? surprise. Oh my god, that's a great idea! Yes. Wait, so so like you gotta tell me all the deets. What is it gonna be like? What are you gonna do? Well, that's the thing. We're not telling anybody the details. Well, clearly, the two of you know. Oh well, no, I don't. That's, Ace hasn't even told me. You know, oh, it's, it's all in his mind. Okay. He's like the mastermind cr- behind yeah, it all. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, but you can't you can't tell anybody because it's a surprise. But also. If we don't tell you the details, then the fun part for you is that it gets to be a surprise for you, too. Oh. That's right. It's going to be big when it happens. I do like surprises. Yeah. However, if I don't find out soon, I might just burst. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. You're, That's, we're all going to find out soon. Oh, okay. And it's going to be great. Okay. But we have to be real. We've got to keep okay. it on the down. Yeah. Okay. So I shouldn't tweet about it. Prob- no. Probably not. Tweet about it. <laughs> Bleat. Bleat. I shouldn't chirp. I shouldn't, I shouldn't chirp, chirp, about, chirp about, about it. I shouldn't yeah. chirp about it. Oh my word. Chirper. Uh, okay, but like, are you sure? Like, what if I left your name out and just say, "Guess who returned from the dead? Guess who's no, not crazy?" Even probably. though everyone said she was no, crazy. No, 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 no. Probably, <laughs> that would probably. be cool. No, 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 no. Probably not. No. Oh, but, but they look, all know who I'm talking Skyler, about. Skyler. They will know exactly. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think. I, th- I think they'll know. Okay, well, I'm yeah. gonna come and I'm gonna come and check in on you later. Yeah. <laughs> How much? Yeah, let's. Sure. Then in a little bit. I don't. You just said a lot of words, and I didn't really know where they were going. But I guess you kind of figured it out. So we're gonna. I'll find you guys in like ten, fifteen. Okay. Well, it's gonna take a little longer than that, I think. Yeah, I think. Well, I thought you didn't know what it was. Well, I don't, but he he did say it was like a long, drawn out thing. You know, we don't want to rush into something again. Mm-hmm. He has been listening okay. for a long time, so it would be kind of right. crazy if we were just suddenly like, bang, there right. he is. Uh-huh. You know, we want to make sure. But that's kind of the nature of a surprise. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> <You know. laughs> I guess. But so it's maybe it would be helpful actually if I kind of like broke the ice with them, and I was like, hey, like, have you heard that like maybe Ace is back? I don't know. That's like, it's just a rumor that I heard. That's what do you think? Not. I look for June. Is June anywhere around? <laughs> Skylar. Skylar. June's just munching away on Skylar. her caramel apple watching. <laughs> uh, Skylar. And I think at this whole conversation, uh, Edna, her lips have just been like tight 
and her eyes have just been like wide in that way that people do when they're kind of like annoyed and angry mm-hmm. i don't think she's ever gotten along with skylar and mm-hmm. she always kind of knew of her and um she just goes finally she's like skylar skylar it's just not your business okay so you don't need to tell anyone about ace because it's not your business okay Ooh, well it's gonna wow, it, well not right now but it's gonna coming be coming from that side of the room <laughs> it's okay it's okay. okay it's you know it's gonna be everybody's business soon mm-hmm. but not right now okay. right now it needs to be nobody okay well so. i'll come and check in real soon and see if it's happening because i tell you what this information i don't think i could contain it for very long oh, she's got like kind that? of a crazed look in her yeah. eye <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> and she'll just go okay well you guys have a wonderful time <laughs> thank you and so just so much okay and she turns around and walks away wow see now that's the kind of energy i like to see from people at the feast of plenty no no that's plenty of crazy is what that is i mean that's, yeah i guess I, that's a little bit much but i yeah. want to go back to my bunker and i think i'll go now no no um, no and no, i'll you, you know go. and no, i'll you can't see go. you guys we have to, save, have the to save the day days. whatever that means uh cal is kind of like maybe you, oh, it would like, save the day if we were to just find skylar and put her you do you have a bag of holding yeah Stop. yeah well yeah i have it with Ace. me if you're I, if you're could save I'm not day. shoving Skylar in the bag of holding. Yeah, that would also die. kill her. Oh, you're totally right. It is my backpack. I don't want to kill anybody. What I've were you going to say, so. Cal? Uh, no, yeah, so Cal, after Eddie, like, kind of went off on Ju- on uh, Skylar, Cal had, like, his mouth, like, open, like, uh-huh. oh, my gosh, <laughs> and, like, kind of smiling. Yeah, yeah. And he looks, at, uh, he looks at Eddie, and he's like, Eddie, I've never seen you lash out at someone like that. That was sick. What was that? Where did that come from? She's just... <laughs> Eddie's having a really bad day. I well, think. yeah, I know that. <laughs> but like, So that just kind of put that me was over pretty the edge. I get it. Yeah, I'm I've never seen someone day. yell at Skylar like that, but that was cool. Well, someone should. Team, all right, huddle up real quick. So we do, if we want to help Ace here, we, we got to make sure we keep an eye on her. Because we can't just let her go. Because what if she does just decide to go randomly talk to Ace's parents? Because that's going to be a whole thing. No, the real problem is is that we can't get back to the observatory until we find a problem. And we can't find a problem while this we're just sitting here. Kind of. What's the problem? The problem is that Skylar, Skylar might... Look, okay. And then he, like, he puts like his hands on Eddie's shoulders. He's like, here's how we save the day. Okay. We save the day by making sure that Ace's parents never find out that he's alive as morbid as that just sounded (laughs) (laughs) we make sure we're saving ace's day so we just have to spend the whole day making sure he stays a secret i think so and then once the day's over then the day is saved i think it can't be that simple can it maybe maybe ace i don't know i'm just putting things together yeah i mean the only thing we've been confronted with i appreciate the help because i'm probably just gonna try to hide i don't know what else can I ask briefly? Well, no, but hiding will solve the problem if Skylar runs to your parents and says that you're alive. I'm going to do a perception check to see where she's at right now. Skylar? Yeah. Okay, can I also ask everyone's passive perception? You can ask that if you'd like. Do you want to ask that? Mine's a 13. Mine is a 14. Uh, 11 perception check, 12 passive perception, so it doesn't really matter. 11 perception check. You can see Skylar is... She's hanging out. She's probably she's probably like there, w- there's like a group of people dancing, um, and she's probably with some one of the guys, just like being goofy and dancing. And I think she looks a little longer for a second, and I think there's like a kind of insecure moment that passes over her face. I think some of the annoyance that she has against Skylar isn't just like a momentary, just because she's having a bad day. She's definitely having a bad day, but. I think there's a little bit of just she's envious of her ability to make friends and be friendly with everyone no matter what. That was just never something that like friends wasn't something that necessarily came easy to her right away. So she's just like there's a little bit of like pent up insecurity and like bitterness towards her. And I think there's like a moment that passes over her face as she watches that before she turns back to the group. Okay, so uh we think that that's what we need to do is keep Ace away uh, away from his parents and and even and watch more than out that, for her Skylar. Make sure that Skylar never yes. tells anyone. Okay. So here's what we could do: we could distract her. We could try and just keep her away from them. Just go hang out with her or something. As oh, horrible as that sounds, 
We, I mean, yeah. she's so loud. She's so loud. She is so and loud. And she's so in your face, you know? I really she's just like, like there's so no much to say. personal space. No, mm mm. No. Nope. You know? I, I it's do. Just, I know. It's just the worst. I know. Very touchy. Ugh, you know? Like, she's just like a, yeah. always like, I like don't hitting know, your arms like, yeah, or like, yeah. just, we're ugh. the worst. <laughs> If you're like this in real life, we we mean nothing by it. Can I tell you, <laughs> Alyssa is like this in real life. <laughs> I constantly am like touching people's arms and I'm just like, hello, hello. Like whatever, hello. It's uh, fine. Okay. So is that the plan? Is that how we save the day? I maybe. I don't know. Okay. Well. It sounds like a good plan for now. Save the day. Um, is there anything else about the like parade today that we need to make sure goes well or do we do we even need to hang out here if we don't want them to find out we could just go somewhere else if you all would like i feel like as you're kind of thinking about this you're probably all like looking around just kind of like what else could we need to like keep safe right um if you all want to make perception checks you can oh yes i feel like i did one earlier and i forgot to roll it or something oh uh, you did one and but you were looking for you were looking for two. I rolled a right. nat one. Seventeen. Seven sixteen. Ace and Eddie. You guys are kinda looking around and you're like, what? Why why are we here? What are we doing? What needs saving? Is it are we just trying to like watch Skylar? Um and as you kind of your eyes fall over towards Skylar, um almost like in your peripheral vision, you just see Seventeen, eighteen. Um, you see almost what, like, th- there's, like, a wall next to you, and you see almost what looks like a little face, and then it just, like, disappears into the wall. <gasps> Did you guys see that? See right that? over there. Right over there. Where? She grabs her friends to, to ankle them and points towards the wall. Um, I, was it Skylar again? I see a wall. No, Skylar's still over there. I've been in watching a moment, this whole time. In a moment where she's just way more energized than she's been this whole time, she's going to run over to the wall. Okay. Hello? Anyone? Hello? She starts to knock on the wall. Why are you talking to the wall? Shh. Hello? I heard that when people are about to die of hypothermia, they start to hallucinate, so that might I be what's happening. Too, you're Hello? Right. What was in those apples? Hello? Nothing. We all had the apples. Anyone there? Eddie, I don't know what you saw, but I don't think it's there. What there did you see? I like, saw it. It was like a was face it? or something. A there face? Was like a spirit. or, or In the wall. Yeah. Spirit. Spirits, if you are in the wall, come out. June just looks sternly at the wall. You know what? <laughs> maybe we need to get Eddie out of the cold and uh, maybe near a fire. And get some nice fog. A maybe. blanket, maybe. Some hot the soup. Maybe you need some hot soup. I, I mean, what kind? Like, it was just a face? Yeah, I don't know. It just looked like it was a face in the wall and then it, like, disappeared. Like, like was a it spirit. like a part of the wall? Or was it like. It looked like it was a part of the wall, right, Alyssa? No. Oh, what did it look I mean, like? It, it, it kind of just looked like a, like a, like a pale face almost, K- like kind of just like a pale whitish ashy. I don't know, um, that just kind of like faded back into the wall, like it went through the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looked like a spirit or like a ghost. A, go- a it, like, ghost. It like went behind. A maybe oh, oh wait, and then she's gonna. How far does the wall go? Is it like go like all the way down the road? No, or it's like just a building. Go it's one it? building. You can go around. I'm just gonna start going around it. Okay. Okay. Should we follow and her? I, I, I mean, guess. yeah, she I shouldn't be alone she's with the ghost. She's kind of running on. <laughs> yeah. The ghost. Okay, let's go get her. I'm gonna go. Everyone needs to stop running away. I I, I was just getting us caramel apples. Well, I know, but you still ran away. Kind of well, scared us. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just really excited about caramel apples. Do I find a door or any sort of? way to get behind that wall um if yeah. it goes into a building then i would try to find a door into the building make a perception check sometimes i don't know if i'm like abusing perception checks or not it's like hard to know uh 10 yeah you see a door okay i'm gonna try and try it uh it opens sweet i Are look inside, inside and i go hello what does it is it like an empty house or what is it yeah like a furnished house or like empty um so do you walk in you're just looking inside yeah um you can see it's definitely dark in there um, maybe there's like, it, it looks unfurnished or very uh, abandoned, you know, okay. like there might be like a chair and like a, you know, there's a couple little, it's kind of dusty and whatever. Okay. She'll take a few steps inside. Hello? Hello? Um. Is someone here? It is noticeably colder in the room. 
she hike like pulls her coat around her even more and her scarf around her even more and she kind of just grumbles to herself why does it have to be so damn cold anyone in here hello i saw you you can you can come out i saw you eddie i don't think there's anything in there hello eddie eddie it's colder in here than it is outside eddie i think it's just an abandoned house i don't think there's anything but i saw something i swear it i I saw it are you sure you're not just (laughs) Can I look at the outside of this building? Do I know this building? Because it's in the middle of town. Um, it, like, should I know what this building is, usually? Um, you can make a history check. Oh, bad. Uh, two. You've seen this building for sure. And you're like, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's been abandoned for a long time. That's all you really remember about it. Does anyone else want to try to remember yeah. it? I'll do like, what is, would you say, a history check? Or uh, what did you say? Um, I, th- I did a history. Yeah, history check things. Not very good. A seven. Do you want to roll one, Ace? I rolled a 17. Ace, you remember um, back in your days in high school that this was, this was a house where everyone was always like afraid of this house. They were always like, what is the deal with this house, man? (laughs) Um, Because it had been abandoned for as long as anyone knew. And it was, I mean, it was often, you know, the makeout spot of all the kids in high school. Maybe you took some girls there. I don't know. (laughs) Oh, so Ace would definitely know the spot. Ace is familiar with the spot. (laughs) Probably Skylar. Ace, Ace, oh yeah, for sure. Ace was that guy. Ace was that guy. Skylar Ace? Yeah. Dude, Skylar was the, like the head cheerleader. Four, four you know? years out of high school, they were that's prom king, point. prom queen. Oh, that's guy. true. Yeah, yeah they I were. Forgot they probably dated. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, hundred oh, yeah. percent. Yeah. So you knew that, and you always knew that there was something like weird going on. Like, like everyone always was like weird about the house, but you don't, you can't really place your finger on why. Like, you can't really remember. You're like, I don't know. There was some something like a some story. I don't know, like something like that. So we know that it's like a little spot, but we don't know. We don't remember. Yeah, it's like the There's old something going on. spot. Let's, you can't let's remember. Get out of here. There's no need to spend any time in here. Yeah, I honestly would prefer to go outside or go get fucked. If you saw a ghost, it's probably more of a reason to stay away from here than anything else. Okay. Well, we are literally supposed to be here to save the day. So, I mean, if there's a ghost, maybe if the ghost decides it wants to disrupt well, things, what if the ghost was just kind of chilling, day. living his life? I just, I thought I saw a face might have just been chilling. go through the wall. I'm just saying. Hello? Anyone? Ghosty? I mean, if we were supposed to save today, I didn't think we were supposed to be extortionists. I mean, wait a minute. Ex- exorcist is the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> extortionists? I don't think we were supposed to be extortionists oh. either. Ace. Um, all right. I guess we can just go. Well, I definitely haven't been. He, like, shoves money into one's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what wait, you guys wait, wait. are talking everyone, about. Wait, everyone, 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 just be quiet for a second. Let's see if we can hear it. Do I hear Ooh. anything? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you do not hear anything except for your dumb guy friends with I voices in the corner. I want food. Okay, fine, let's go. Well, well did you, you say there was, like, a story flower. about this place, Ace? Yes. Um, there was a story. Well, we could just... I don't and know, maybe we can find somebody who knows the story or something. I forget. I know, which is why I'm saying maybe we could go find somebody that remembers, and we can get fun at the same time. Maybe maybe the um, old man Jimmy at the fur shop, maybe he remembers. Old, the one with the peg leg, yeah. We could ask him. The peg leg, I don't yeah, remember Jimmy being a peg, the peg leg. leg. What? Old I'm pretty man sure she Jimmy does. Has a peg leg? I don't think that's right. Whoa, my world is blown right now. So hold, so hold on. So, are we going to get fu and talk to old man Jimmy, or are we we are gonna just forget about Skylar? Because again, oh, oh yeah, where is Skylar? Skylar. Well, we should go check on Skylar first. Oh man, I hate to say it, but I bet Skylar would know the story of this place. Why would she know the story of this place, Ace? Well, yeah, Ace. Why would she know? Yeah, Ace. Why I mean, would she know? Everyone who, you know, knew or hung out or, or here at any point would have known. Did she, did she hang, hang out? Here? I just yeah. forget. How do you know she hung out here? I mean, the, the bunch of us hang, hung out here. The bunch of us. Who's that? Like, there, a ton of us hung out here. You, like, you know, it's, it was like the old. 
It was like the old abandoned, like scary place. So like we, we were just, you know, everybody just runs, th- throws rocks at the window, and just kind of like, rocks, rocks, you know. Right. So like the one. bunch of you, name yeah, like who one else was there? Other you, person. Skyler, an old abandoned scary place. Name yeah. one other person that was there with the two of you guys. I mean, oh, Cal, it wasn't like that. Oh my gosh. While everyone's talking, Edna's going to take a few steps up the stairs to the next level of the building. Kind of keeping her eyes and her ears open. Okay, you can make a perception check. Do I notice any cold spots or anything? Uh, the whole place is generally cold. Yeah, you hate the cold. Eight. I do. You don't see anything particular. <sighs> Betty, right, let's, let's go. go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are really uh, in sync. <laughs> yeah. All right, she'll walk out. Okay. Uh, so you will walk out. Um, where would you like to go? I guess, quick surrounding check for Skylar. Do we see her? She's where she was last time. Roll a surrounding check. (laughs) Uh, You can see Skylar is dancing with some other guy, but she's over there dancing. Man, Skylar loves to dance. She's been dancing for 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Are we getting far or are we talking to Skylar about this place? I mean, I guess we can interrupt her dancing, but she seems to have forgotten about us. I wonder if that's... That's a good point. That's probably good. Let's just go ask old man Jimmy if he knows about it. Well, apparently this was the scary hangout. I didn't even know that was a thing. I knew it was a thing. Should we try to like sneak by her so that she doesn't see us or like, do we care? Oh yeah, definitely. I kind of think she's forgotten about us for a second. So I think we should try and keep that going. Yeah, probably. Do you want to... Okay. So everyone roll stealth tricks as you try to sneak on by. My stealth is actually really good. Which 13. Is weird. 17. Um, 13. So you start to creep your way by. Um, just trying to blend in, trying to be, you know, whatever. Cal goes, follow my lead. <laughs> <laughs> Starts like bobbing his head, humming the Mission Impossible theme. Mission Improbable is actually what it's called. In <laughs> Mission Unlikely. <laughs> yeah. Ta- task Unlikely. <laughs> task Unlikely. <laughs> task Improbable. The Task Unlikely series is doing really well, actually. Yeah. The third just, one was my favorite. I just love that guy. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what, his, name? what's his name? Uh, Dom Bob Sailing. Bobby. Bob. Bo- Bobby. Bob. What? Bob Bruiser. Bob Bruise. <laughs> Bob Bruise. <laughs> Bob Bruise. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so as you guys are kind of like bobbing and weaving and whatever you hear, you guys. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> we like all freeze like uh, like the Abbey Road <laughs> yeah. picture. Everyone, yeah. everyone don't move a muscle. Oh, 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 I love this game. And she comes over and freezes next to you. How long are we playing for? And we're done. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, wow. that was so good, you guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Hi. Hey. Hi. So, how's the surprise coming along? Right, so that was step one. You know, what was step one? What we just did. Oh, yeah. oh what did you guys do? When we all froze just now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was step one. That was part of it. Interesting. Were you practicing? Is that how you're going to, like, show up? That's exactly yeah. right. You're wow. on to it. Oh, that's a really good idea. Thank you very much. I but really you, like that. You, still don't know. You really all of think it. that's a good idea, huh? Um, that yes. is a good idea, right? You, I mean, yeah. I mean, wow. did Ace come up with it? Yes. I mean, I think it's a great idea. I Cal really gets do. like wide-eyed. He's like, yes, yes, he did. Oh, okay. Yep. Wow. I mean, he was always pretty smart, you know, <laughs> back ever since high school. <laughs> Eddie's gonna right, do Ace? an insight check. Not very good. Like six. What are you trying to figure out? What her feelings Int- towards Ace are. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But uh, it's only a How six. she said that. Yeah, Seems she's like she's wearing that on her sleeve. She's impressed. Her she passive insight, however, is 12. She's I want to roll as she well. She seems impressed. If, uh, sure. If allowed. Sure. Uh, I rolled a 13. Um. Yeah. She seems like, wow, he came up with a good idea. But she didn't say it was good because it was him. Um. It, it may like have had it. something to do yeah, with that. It sure okay. seemed like okay. it. It may okay. have. It may have had something to do with that. Okay, so um, like, what's the next step? Come on, can I just like help you guys a little bit? I just want to like, I want to help out, you know, because I don't want to just like. Well, okay, you, you know, know what, what? Skyler? Here's you- I have I have a really good idea on yeah. what she could do. So, we noticed that potentially there is a ghost in the abandoned house. Have you ever been to the abandoned house? 
gosh, yeah. Ace and I used to go there all the time in high school. You did, really? Yeah. Eddie gives what Ace a pointed look. What would you guys do there? Just hang oh. out? That's, wow. You know, that's neither here or there, but I really mean, the point is. Well, yeah. I think it was there is actually <laughs> it, what. It was. Yeah, well, we were there yeah, all. I, I mean, and all the cool kids used to go there and hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But it wasn't really many of them. I mean, well, like, it would depend on, like, the day. Like, sometimes we yeah, would kind of be like, go well, like, if we knew, you know, like, some people were going to be there. Like, yeah. we weren't going to, like, you know, we didn't want to bother them. Sure. Yeah. So, like, usually it was, like, when it was going to be quiet. Yeah, I mean, we would, would go, go, and, like, sometimes there would be a group or, like, well, you know, like, sometimes, like, you know. Like, you we can would say be it. There. We're all friends. Well, like, I mean, gosh, <laughs> back in the day, you know, we were prom queen and prom king. So, like, we'd go over there sometimes. Together. Well, yeah. Just yeah, the two people, of you hanging out. Yeah, just to, like, have you a know, time together. You know, it was together. just like people would go sometimes. Now, and the point is that she kind of knows her way around that. And I think <clears throat> I think that <laughs> while we're... <laughs> <laughs> uh, like she knows her way around that. <clears throat> she, oh my point, god! Okay, and he cuts her off again. And the, the point is, she she knows her way around the abandoned house. And while we are off preparing for the rest of the surprise, she can kind of maybe go check out on that coast. That yeah. So we're gonna send her in there alone. <laughs> What Again, if, she hey, knows her way around. It'll be fine. And let me, let me, yeah. Everyone, listen to me real quick. Let yeah. me say this. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh-huh, what sure. if? What if? Just for old times' sakes, maybe Ace oh. and Skylar go check out the haunted house. Oh, that's a great well, idea. Yeah. June, June, maybe you go get us some popcorn. Um, and I think popcorn? you know. And I, I see that's where really you're coming nice from. Idea. And Eddie hey, and I will scout you know, out. That's well, the area. Hey, hey, and you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's I see where I you're. Think I think that's a hey, great you know? idea. I've heard well, it a really long hey, time. I think that's a good and idea. You know what? I I see where you're coming from there. <laughs> exactly, because it's a great and idea. Nice yeah. idea. Thank you. I, yeah. And while while I see where you're coming from, <laughs> Ace, I, I'm not usually <laughs> yeah. the one to get. Why, 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 usually, <laughs> I don't get everyone's approval on my ideas, but everyone seems to agree this yeah. is a good one. I, well, yeah, I think Ace, Ace you might not be seeing this. clearly hey, that hey, this is a really good idea. Hey, Cal, and I see while I see where you're coming from and there. Break. And, and hey, Edda hey, grabs well, June no. and Cal and pulls them away, <laughs> leaving Ace and <laughs> Skylar <laughs> alone. Oh my gosh, are we just going to go uh, explore the house? Uh, man, you know, and we were we were already just there. It's why well, I'm confused. I don't really think I need to go back there to explore. I think well, I saw I mean, I also, like, everything. I, I, it's, um, it's so funny that they think they saw the, a ghost because, like, I remember these stories that we used to hear all about it. Yeah, it's almost like we should stay away from there, maybe. I mean, I don't so, know. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> um... I was just thinking, like, you could kind of stay there and make sure that nothing comes out of there, and then we'll just keep on going. I mean, you generally, know? generally, people try to avoid it, avoid it, like, around yeah. the Feast and of the pl- of Plenty. So, right. like, I mean, that's generally, like, what we right. try to not do is that go there That would generally be good. Days. It'd I be think it generally be good if we good. just don't go there. Um, but, like, I mean, I don't know. Whatever you think. Um, I, I mean, I think it could be fun to go back there again, just for old times sake, I, even if it's, like, scary, you know? I, can, I think it would be really good for the the whole surprising the parents thing if you if you stay there and make sure that nothing comes out of there At we the don't house want any, alone well you, see you don't have to go in there you can just kind of stay around there and make sure that nothing comes out and then you if want, something you, you you want me to just go 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 stand by the house I, and there'll be other people there too i'm sure it's not like you'll be like alone right no, like and then, i said everybody tries to avoid it around the feast of plenty i mean i just told you that yeah, and so maybe we shouldn't go there at all. This, you know, th- I don't. I don't think this is a good idea. I think, you okay, know. Okay, well, you know, I'm just a little confused because we used to have a really nice time when we would go to the house, and so I'm just kind of confused as to what's going on now. Yeah, uh, you're giving me a lot know, of signals. Okay, you know, we that we did. We used to have great times there. And I mean, you were just talking about how we had a wonderful... I mean, Cal, you even told Cal about it, apparently. I mean, I, he knew. So clearly you've talked about me. So I just want to know what's <laughs> going on. That, look, the, the past, I, I would prefer to leave in the past, I think. And I, I think that I thought 
Well, clearly uh, I, you wanted to leave the past in the past when you just disappeared forever. I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to like put out the, what is it? Like the, 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 the branch, you know, where I'm like, oh, like everything's fine. Even though you just abandoned me. <clears throat> fine. Look, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I did abandon, I abandoned everyone and uh-huh. I, I mean, that I just, I guess I just hit this breaking point where th- there was just too much pressure and expectation, saying- and I just... Are you saying it was too much for you? I'm saying, I'm saying everything was too much for me. It wasn't, it wasn't you at all. It was... I don't think, I don't think you understand... I'm trying to... uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't saying that you were too much. That's not not what I meant. I think I gotta go. Um, I'll see you later, okay? Uh, Bye. uh, (laughs) She just turns and runs the other way. Yeah, he's not gonna stop her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is brutal. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That was hilarious. The three of us walk away. I'm like, okay, we'll just give them some alone time. This is because that's hilarious. I, I kind of feel bad, but this is pretty funny. That because was pretty hilarious. I think I think this may this may be a thing for him. This might be the turning point. Maybe mm. he'll realize that he really needs to go talk to his parents. And How's like, going to learn that. So from what he's going to talk to Skylar. Well, maybe he, he'll maybe she. I don't know. I'm just trying to see that it's okay that we just made him stay there with Skylar. I honestly just think it was pretty funny that we did that. I just thought it was a prank. But yeah, me too. I, I mean, mean, it is. No, I know. I'm just, I know. I just feel a little bad, but like, it's probably fine. So <laughs> I look over. They're still probably talking at this point because yeah. it's not that much time. So I guess we'll just. Yeah, what do we do in He'll the get the details about the ghost story. But other than that, I mean, it's just making sure that. Yeah, I guess um, we could go get. I mean, we could go get soup, or we could, um, um... Let's go get some pho, and then I'm we'll get down. it to go, and we'll bring it out, and once Ace is done with this conversation, then we'll bring a bowl for him. Okay. How about that? Pho to go is not good. That's true. Pho to go is the worst. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I've never had pho. Eddie, you've never had Eddie. pho? And you like warm, you, happy you things? You hate being cold? And you've never had pho? Eddie, your opinions on the cold Eddie, might change understand. once you have pho. Yes. Why would that change my opinions on the cold? We're going. It's oh, settled. You're We're gonna going to understand. You're about We're going. to. You're going to learn. Have you ever been to Phenomenal? <laughs> Around the corner? Phenomenal. No. It's, you've never. It is. She's and never I quote, been to Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It, it literally is. It's, it's the so most good. phenomenal pho place that I've ever been to. Yeah, we need to go. Okay, okay let's go. Right. Let's go. Um, should we check and just see? And June will turn around and oh, see. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know where Ace is. I don't know what Ace did. But yeah, what did, oh, what did she's Ace gone. do? That tracks perfectly because after she walked away, Ace would just be like, there's, there's no damn ghost. And he'll walk into the house. Yeah. He'll go back to the house. Okay. Well, they're gone. Okay. okay, I guess they figured it out. Okay. Uh, Cute. They're going to have phenomenal. a moment. I'm down. Okay. So you all, with a little extra pep in your step, <laughs> head tour. Phenomenal. Mm. The local pho house. I am house. so excited. The pho house. I don't, yeah. Joe is living vicariously through this podcast oh, yeah. just because he wants a <sighs> I want pho bowl so of pho. bad right now. We, we so almost bad. got pho today and I'm so sad that we didn't. That's why yeah. I didn't come to lunch. <laughs> I would have done pho. pho. No, I was we were going to go do get, take out pho. I was going to go uh, get pho, but I was like, I don't want to spend money if it's just kava because I can make food at home, right. yeah. but I'll spend the money on pho. Oh, you know what I mean? So good. So you guys uh, head over to the pho place. Um, you open the little lo- door. There's a little... Ding ding of the bell. Oh we hear yeah. some some great music typical to a pho shop. Mm. Uh, you can smell that wonderful aroma of the broth. Don't you smell that, back. Eddie? Oh my goodness! The it does smell very good. You kind of walk, say. and your the floor is a little bit sticky. Your feet, you, you, you know what I mean. It's you, part of the whole thing. It's part Ew. of the whole thing. It's just a little no, bit no, like no. clearly some broth has spilled. So it's your shoe class. just a little bit of just a little like. You know that sound your foot makes when it's just a tiny 
a bit sticky. This place mm-hmm. isn't very clean. Eddie, that's the best part. The walls are just it's like a non charm. A nondescript gray. There's a few little like lanterns hanging around. Maybe some some uh some like like a fake brick wall. <laughs> just to add some charm. <laughs> Love it. Um but it smells incredible in here. Don't and it's also s- a beer and wine, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not this one. That's yeah. the one that's the one five blocks down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what would you like to do? Ready, get ready to have your life change forever. Okay. She's just kinda looking around. I'm just so excited. This is gonna be so wonderful. A little <laughs> underwhelmed. It's the perfect day. Oh, Are you still really cold, is. Eddie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yep. See, there's a ritual here. There's, there is a ritual. Oh no. <laughs> First part of the ritual is you stand outside and you get cold. Very cold. This is Chilly. where real life and fantasy D and D come together. <laughs> yes. I want everyone know, to know that this next this bit is... is both Joe and Cal saying yes. this at the same. Yeah, this is what time. we do when we do this. Yes, the ritual to get fa yes. Eddie Laura mm-hmm. <laughs> is you stand outside the restaurant and you get cold. Cold, Chilly. not to the point where you're freezing. You know, chilly your is pants the word, off, but chilly. That's right. Mm-hmm. Your body is physically chilled. now cold, chilled. Mm-hmm. And then you go inside, and you're still pretty cold, but then you order a nice mm, Mamma Mia surprise mm, bowl of Mama pho. Mia surprise. I hate and that ooh, term still. Baby, 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 it comes <laughs> to the table, and you drink that shit up, and it tastes like a warm <laughs> hug, and my goodness, your whole day is changed. Forever. Done. You're none, so warm I'm inside. Just mm. None of that sounded appetizing. <laughs> Mamma mia surprise, you drink that shit Mama up. Mamma mia surprise. Trust me. <laughs> That's what we then, call it. It's a mm, mamma mia surprise. Ooh, you're going to feel like you have a warm hug in your mm, stomach. Mm-hmm. And man, it's just it is just the best because mm. it's cold outside, but it's warm in there. Mm, but it's warm inside. And then inside. what you do is now you're a little hot. Mm, your tongue's a little, little toasty because it, it's hot. Get a little spicy from that hot, sriracha. Hot, 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 hot. If you use sriracha, not everyone does, That's but true. some do. That's true. Uh, and... But your tongue just physically is now very hot, mm-hmm. like almost like you didn't burn your tongue, mm-hmm. but it is, you know, it's it's You're close. And so then you leave and you get a nice iced coffee or iced chai latte or iced bubble tea, whatever it is, and cool your mouth down just a little bit. And ooh, baby, that is that is the perfect ritual for fa. And that's what we're going to do today, Eddie. I think she looks at you. No idea what you just meant. But just You're decide that it's best to just nod and pretend like she knows what you're talking about. All right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, at that moment, um, a tall elf guy walks over. He's got a little apron on um, and uh, comes over. Hey, guys. My name's Vero. What can I get for you today? Hello, sir. Uh, can we get three number fours large, please? I mean, the usual for the you, usual. of course. Uh, Thank you very much. Bl- Absolutely. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Trust us. That's the way to go. Um, okay. Can I get extra noodles with mine, please? Oh, uh, sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like talking to myself. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll be right back with three number fours, one side of extra noodles. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ace, um... Skylar has just walked away from you, crying. Um, what would you like to do? Yeah, so Ace would kind of accept that that's... <laughs> that she's sad. That that's something that he does not have the capability to fix immediately right now, and so he'll just turn in frustration and just enter the house. The house? Yeah. Wow. Probably muttering under his breath that he doesn't believe there's a ghost in there. What would you like to do in the house? Uh, well, upon walking, upon entering the house, uh, I kind of look around and just try to assess the situation. Does it look like anything's been recently disturbed since the last time we were in there, uh, just minutes ago, (laughs) really, um, and would look for, uh, you know, some, something that seems clearly amiss or, yeah. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. That is a 19. You walk into the house, muttering under your breath. Um, 
pretty frustrated. Lots going on. Never mind. That's what he sounds like. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Um, <laughs> the house is still cold. Um, past chilly, in fact. It's very cold in this house. And you kind of, you like cut yourself off muttering. Yes, I'm so hot. <laughs> And that's what that sounds like. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, because in the distance, you just barely make out what sounds like someone crying. Or maybe even more like a whale. There's a whale like a crying. Whale. <laughs> <laughs> Is that... <laughs> 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 I'm so sad. Oh my gosh. Where's my dad? Where's my mom? This is the part of the show where we try out our whale noises. No, it is not a whale. <laughs> it sounds like someone wailing. No, no, not hunting for whales, though you may think that's what it is. <laughs> She's cutting them off at the pass. <laughs> she is crying. Another synonym for crying can be wailing. It is a type of crying where they are sad and loud. Yeah, I'll go. I'll walk in the direction of the noise. Okay, um, it's coming from upstairs. I go upstairs. So you ascend the stairs, one step at a time. You get to the top of the stairs. The wailing is louder. Oh no! And it feels like it's coming from down the hall. Would you like to keep going? Yeah, I'll keep going. Okay. Are you sneaking? Are you? Mm. Um, are I, you, what are you doing? Um, I mean, I'll kind of slow my walking as to not be incredibly noisy, but I mean, I'm going to walk into this room and see, see what it is. I'm not going to like ninja roll into it. You sure. Know? So this wailing that you're hearing as you're approaching, it's getting louder and louder and it, when you're downstairs, you're kind of like, oh, it sounds like a, a girl is crying or, or, or something. As you've gotten closer to it now, it it sounds unnatural. It doesn't sound just like a girl crying. It, it's it's an unnatural wailing. That's the only way I can describe it. A desperate, like guttural sound almost coming from this room. And as you approach it, you can feel like the air is getting even colder, if that's even possible. So you're freezing at this point. You're like, your muscles are kind of doing that like tensing thing because you're so cold. Because it's not that cold outside yet. So you're not wearing like heavy winter clothing, but it feels like heavy winter in here. Um, oh, your teeth start chattering a little bit. You walk forward and you get to a door and clearly behind this door, something's coming from behind it. Do you enter? What do you so, do? Just like... More Clearly the, the sound is coming from out there and it's loud. But it's on the other side of this door. You have a door. Um, I knock on the door and I take a take a step away. The wailing cuts. And you hear nothing for a minute. What do you do? I kind of reach over and I knock again and I say, Hello? Housekeeping. You see very slowly through the door, this white face just like appears right in front of you and cocks its head. And it's, it's a very, like the eyes are sunken in. The skin is like all stretched and kind of sagging. And like, you can see, yeah, like her eyes like are deep in in her skull she has eyeballs it's not a skull but this sunken sallow face and she just like yeah um her face just kind of comes out of the door and you see her inhale and just let out this 
ear splitting whale right at you, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, man. Oh, no. This is bad. Ace is by himself. 21. We really didn't think this through. I mean, at that moment, Vero comes to the table with a platter full of bowls and said, all right, soup's on. Oh, thank you, Vero. And puts them down on the table and slides these steaming bowls full of soup with noodles and meat and his, gives you all the fixings. He gives you bean sprouts and basil and sriracha and that fig sauce. And Baracha. All things. Baracha. <laughs> 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 um, says, well, you guys just enjoy. It's the perfect pho day. Oh, I couldn't agree more. The f- festival of the Feast of Plenty is the perfect day for fun. Mm. And this is plenty. Plenty. Mm. Thank Indeed. you. Thank you so oh much. My goodness. Okay, so now listen, Eddie. Okay. You can add whatever little fixins you want to it. Personally, I like to rip up some basil in there. I add a bit of sriracha. I add some of the plum sauce. Baracha. Baracha, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was an S. Um, I mix it all in there, and oh, it's just so divine. I okay. I usually don't add anything, yeah. but here's why. Because I feel like good pho, which this is the best, it is phenomenal, it, huh. doesn't necessarily hmm. need additions. Mm-hmm. If it's good, it should be able mm-hmm. to hold its own, you know? But okay. more power to you. Do whatever you mm-hmm. want. It's your mm-hmm. bowl. That's the best part about pho. It's it's for you, you know? It's for the people. Okay. Um. All right. And she'll take a, take a taste of it. Yeah. Cal immediately starts slurping it down. Her head cocks to the side, her eyes widen. Her eyes go up as she ponders the taste. You feel okay. I mean, the warmth. Yeah. I mean, you that's just pretty feel good. This, this warmth just covers your entire body in a warm hug. And a little smile comes across her face. She's just been in such a bad mood, and this is definitely And I don't know if, you know if anyone's taken any damage today, but you would get a hit point back from this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. They get a temporary hit point. Let's, Let's go. go. I'm down. Mm, it's the best, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, and we cut back to Ace. You, this woman is just screaming at you. And you take four points of damage, psychic damage. And she, she screams. And as she's screaming, she just flies right at you. Um, and gets very close to you and then literally just goes right through you and through the wall behind you. Oh. Uh, nope. And he runs out of the house. <laughs> where, where, where do you go, Ace? I just uh, run out in the, the street and try to, like, um, because I saw, like, which direction she flew through me. So I'm going to look at that like side of the house mm-hmm. and uh, see if she's like just flying mm-hmm. around Okay, uh, roll in the air. Perception <laughs> check. 10. 10. Okay, um, you don't see her, but you hear from around the corner a commotion. You hear some people... <gasps> Hey. I run towards the commotion. Okay. Um, or I um, kind of walk up slowly to the commotion. Sure. Because I don't know what the commotion sure. should be. <laughs> okay. Uh, and back in the fall house, you guys are finishing up your bowls of um, wonderful, wonderful oh, mama mia so surprises. Good. Excuse me, uh, Vero? Uh, yes. How um, can I help you? Uh, the pho is very good. Oh, of you. course. Um, it's I phenomenal, have, in fact. Yes. It is. Yes. The name of the place. Um, <laughs> of course. Uh, I heard that you know the like the haunt, like the story of that like haunted building over there. We were all wondering what the the story was. I thought Do that you was old know town it, Jimmy? Old man. Yes, Jimmy. old man Jimmy. Oh I, yeah. He generally is the. The keeper of the stories in this town. However, I've heard him tell it so many times. I am familiar uh, with this house what's, that you're talking about. What's the story? About. I like wanted to know. Cal is leaning back in his chair with his eyes closed, just in s- pure bliss. <laughs> <laughs> well, as the story goes, um, there there was a woman who used to live there. Her name was Ensana, and she was. Um, she was an older an older lady. She was 
she had lived there for a really long time um, and kind of your typical scary lady on the street you know she was always she was always throwing rocks at kids who would throw rocks at her house and and you know try, you know chasing kids off her property and doing all these kinds of things and it was always pretty harmless it was always kind of not much happening but she kept to herself she was always in the house and you know the kids told all kind of stories of what she did and who she was and what was going on well one year actually was on the feast of plenty just like today so it's weird that you're asking about it but um i don't know something happened she it was long before i was born but the way they tell it is she snapped and some kids were had left the had left the festival early and were harassing her house and just kind of whatever i don't even know what they were doing uh and and like i said she kind of just snapped and she she came out and screamed at the kids and and grabbed one of the kids and dragged him inside and while well, the other kid who got who was able to get away came running into the festival screaming and hollering about how his friend had been taken away and it was this whole thing and so i mean pretty much the whole town went went to her house to go get the kid back it was kind of hard to keep a secret it was she was right there in the middle of town and well I, I don't really know the details but I don't think it ended well I think I think they ended up killing her that but, is brutal <laughs> Cal's still Cal is just back. way too Edna happy right now kicks Cal under the table ow wow, why'd you do she that respect. I, um, someone so, died so they, ki- I, they, they literally ha- they killed this woman <laughs> what did she I mean I don't know I feel like that's kind of drastic you know and, well, I, I don't know the whole story. I'm sure there was more to it, but that's just what's been passed down from the generations. Like I said, this was many uh, years ago. So, but that's the reason why people are like, don't go on the... Exactly. The yes, festival. Because, you know, yeah, it's on the festival because theoretically they she was killed on the festival and maybe she haunts every year on the festival. I'm not sure, but there's no. never been any... Uh, and at that moment, you hear a commotion outside. You hear a couple people scream and holler and... Something's going on outside. And oh, no looks to her things. friends. It's probably just a parade. Oh. Oh. Uh, no uh the parade doesn't start for another hour. I don't I don't know what's going on. It's it sounds pretty intense out there. All right, let's go. And Edna stands up and runs to the door halfway through. She turns back. Is Cal still sitting there? Yeah, what's Cal, June what's June Cal, doing? What the heck? Come on. She grabs Dude, him by the arm. Guys, this is Cal, not part of the ritual. Now is the time. <laughs> this is Come not on. the ritual. There's something going on. We're supposed to save the freaking day. Come I on. I want an iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we can get your freaking iced coffee after this. Come on. And she fine. Dra- she like rips fine, his fine, arm. I'm coming. <laughs> uh, they run outside. The three of them burst out onto the street. Um, you see uh, people just yeah scattered, running everywhere, screaming, grabbing their children, and everything's in a in a hubbub. And June goes, "No, the festival! Everything's getting destroyed!" Oh my gosh, this is the best festival ever so far. <laughs> Edna again is very much energized, very much different than how she's been. She looks around, and I want to make it a perception check to see if she sees um, Ace yeah, me or too. Skyler. Man, bad rolls today. Everyone can make a perception check. Um, Ace, you can seven. as well if you want to look for your friends. I rolled a 16. Out. Seven. I rolled a 23. Okay. Um, so, Eddie, you're kind of looking around like, okay, where's Ace? Where's Skylar? Um, you, you don't see Skylar anywhere, but actually all three of you at the same time kind of, or all four of you at June as well, um, make on ta- eye contact. You see... Um, Ace across the across the way. So there's Ace. I assume you run over towards him. Yes, yeah, definitely. Let's go. Ace, what's going on? What's happening? Why is everyone freaking out? Uh, g- ghost. G- Ace, uh, enough with the I ghost mean, thing, seriously. guys. And I how was your it. time? Guys, I, I saw the ghost. I did too. Uh, I was right. Ran, Are you sure? It ran through me. Oh, a ghost? Was, and it was so exactly around trying to it find was, it. Guys, it was exactly what she saw. It was a white face, and I, I, there was a room, and it was really cold upstairs when I went in the house, and I knocked on it, and the face appeared, and then it just rushed Where's through me. Where's Skylar? Is she okay? Uh, yeah, was no, she with you? She'll be. I, uh, she'll be fine. And She'll at, be fine. Where is she? At well, that moment, you hear a blood curdling scream, wail, horrifying, um, 
unlike you have ever heard before, just rip out from around the corner. Um, it sounds like it's kind of coming from the other side of this building. Um, uh, do you all run in that direction? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think that would shake us out of okay. the conversation. Um, as you round this corner, um, you see suddenly before you this large floating white figure with her hair, this like stark white hair floating um, kind of behind her and whipping in an invisible wind that's not there. She's got these ripped, um, like this ripped dress on, these like really flowy dress that's all ripped up and whatever. And um, she has a body. And it's like I like I described before. This face is super sunken in. There's this skin sort of on her, but there's holes and rips in it where you can see her bones through it. It looks oh. like rotted away, but but it's not like currently rotten. It just looks like it rotted away. It's it's a really weird image. So you're like seeing skin on a skeleton, but you see both sides of it. And she's just got this crazed look in her eyes. And the skin right along the sides of her eyes has been ripped away. So it's just like this exposed grayish flesh, like right next to her eyes. Um, and she's just screaming at everybody in the space. And I need you all to make constitution saving throws. Ooh. Ooh. 15. Five. Uh-oh. 13. Let me roll for June. Okay, 15. Five. 13. 13. Okay, so... Um, uh, Eddie, June, and Cal take four points of damage. Ooh. Okay. Plus, one remember, less from yeah, our one temporary. less from the yeah, temporary. Yeah, remember your temporary. Oh, that's right. I forgot I had one, too. And Ace, Ace sees this horrifying uh, image and takes, um, takes six points of damage and is now frightened of the Banshee. I turn around to everybody and kind of like huddle them up. I'm like, okay, so you remember how we're supposed to save the day? I think this is what we're supposed to do. I okay. think that makes sense. Yeah, pretty much. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know why we couldn't just leave it to authorities. I don't know why they're going to let kids do this, but we got to try. I got this. I got this. And Eddie steps forward and tries to charm it. Uh, well, Cast- first, let's have everyone roll initiative. Okay. Okay. All right. So with that, Eddie, it is your turn first. Um, she immediately steps forward with sort of a determination. Um it's not necessarily manic determination, but she seems very intent on trying to do something and be intentional about doing something in this fight, which may or may not have something to do with how she felt useless in the last one. So she steps forward and immediately casts Charm Person. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, it only affects humanoids, so I don't know if this is necessarily a humanoid, but for what she knows how to do and what she has prepared, that's what she's going to try. Um... It does not work. That is not a monstrosity. So I think her eyes flash this gold, bright gold color whenever she casts her spells and it flashes gold and she looks at it determinedly and mutters this incantation and waits. And nothing happens. And then she gets like pissed off. Less so that there's more destruction happening, but more so that she's not the one who's doing something about it. It's like this weird, irrational thing that she's dealing with right now about it. But yeah, that's her turn. Uh, w- wait, what'd you roll for your initiative? Uh, 22. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, so then that actually brings us to the Banshee's turn. Um, and so seeing you um, lash out, um, sh- the Banshee is going to attack you, um, Eddie... Um, and she's going to try to, like, grab your arm. Oh, gosh. Mm, does a dirty 20 hit? Yes. Um, you take three points of necrotic damage. Yikes. Okay. Um, that's the Banshee's turn. That brings us to Cal. Okay. And did the Banshee run up to us? Or is it still far away? Um, It's pretty close. Fairly close. Because it, it had to run over to... Um, okay. Or fly over to... Did it have to? It, is it within five feet of Ed? Or no? Yeah, because yep. it's, it tried, to it's grab oh, it tried to grab right? you. Yep. Okay, okay. I kind of. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, so you have sneak second. attack. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to. So you see Cal put his backpack down, uh, and he goes, That only told me to use this on special occasions. And for the first time, pulls out this, like, large, like, really beautiful golden with, like, kind of diamond encrusted, uh, like, handguard rapier. <laughs> And cool. he pulls it out of his backpack and runs at it. Okay. He's going to try and uh, stab it. Okay. This is giving me Percy Jackson vibes with Riptide. 
Oh, sure. uh, like, yeah. He like pulled eight. it out of his back. You want an eight? Mm -hmm. uh, that misses. All right, so I swing and a miss. Uh, and I'm gonna use my. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, ace. All right, I am going to. I'm frightened, so I guess I run away from it. Is what happens? Wait, no, I thought this was. This one is just you can't move closer to it. Frighten. Oh yeah, you can't move closer. Yeah, yeah. you just can't move closer right. to it, but you can attack and you can roll again oh. at the end of your turn. That's a uh, spell okay. that makes gotcha. you have to use your. Well, action then right I will mm -hmm. uh, cast Hunter's Mark and grab my longbow. You also have disadvantage on attack e rolls. Disadvantage on the attack roll. Yeah, that's frightened. Are you sure? Yeah, fright frightened. You always have disadvantage on the attacks, and you can't yeah. move closer. Okay. Oh man, I had rolled a nat twenty for one of them too. Still not bad though. That is a twenty-two to hit. That hits. Nice. Eight, nine, ten points of damage. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so um. Ten points of damage. And then nice. I and then I wisdom save now. Yes. Okay. No good. Six. So you are still frightened. Uh, okay, that brings us to June's turn. Um, how's everybody looking? Uh, I mean, I haven't taken any damage. It, I don't think. How are you looking? I oh, wait, no, just I, look I, I, scared. I took a little damage. You just look scared, but yeah, you're not but hurt. It, it, I, and I'm like, I'm like shaky, and I hit a lucky shot. Oh, in terms of like health, I mean, he, he looks like he's struggling. I mean, he's not able to string the bow. Like, is he bloodied? Super. Um. Uh. No, not bloodied, but. Okay. Uh, you know. Okay. He he he's look looks like he's seen better okay. days. Okay. <laughs> so uh, then. June is going to, uh, she's going to wild shape into a giant hyena again. <laughs> um, so as her bonus action, she will, yeah, turn into a giant hyena. Let me get those stats. Okay, and she is going to try to bite the banshee. Okay, and she hits. So let's go. Nice. Let's go, June. This is so hard. I know that's my least favorite part about DMing is like especially also playing combat. a character at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so she does eight damage. Nice, big hits, big Let's hits, go. big whammies. Um, and that is the end of her turn. So that brings us back to Eddie. She can't do anything. She doesn't have any. So is this thing still holding on to her? Was it like was it like a grab and then let go, or is it like it's just like holding on to um, me? A grab and a let go. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. She's just going to pull her dagger out and swing wildly with a natural one. No. Ooh. Which low key, like, yeah, it checks out. Tracks with where she's at. Because she feels useless. <laughs> and this is what is bothering her right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the banshee will then. Um, uh, you just attacked her and hit. I missed. Missed. You missed. And he's too far away, so she's just gonna. She, you took a swing, so he, she's gonna. Um, she's gonna reach out towards you and do the same thing. Small side note: my dagger is my pocket knife. It's not like an actual dagger; it's like a little pocket knife she keeps with her. Uh, does a nine hit? Nope. Great. Not great. I mean, I'm so sad. Whoops. Uh, um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that makes it Cal's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stab her. Okay. Or try to. Please, a natural one. Oh my, oh my word. Nice too. You are actually rolling with this time, <sighs> right? It's real yep. dice? Okay. Okay. Do you have any bonus actions you want to do? Nope. Okay. Ace, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay. And I rolled another nat 20, but a five. Are you still frightened? So it's uh, a yeah. 12 to hit. Um, That, it matches. So that hits, right? Yes. If it matches the AC, yes. Yes. Okay. That hits. Sweet. 11 points of damage. And then my wisdom save. Yes. Natural 20. Nice. Okay. You are Let's no longer go. frightened. So he like, uh, yeah, he he hits these two shots in a row, even though his arms are shaky. And he, he sees that he's he's still holding it together and hit, hitting it. And he's like, all right. All right. We're, we're in this. We're in this. Good. Good. Nice. He looks more confident now. Nice. Let's go. All right. Let's go. The uh, giant hyena is going to take another bite at. Well, yeah. Why didn't it attack the hyena? I don't know. <laughs> kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Sorry. Oh, good. She rolls really good. Like a 24. Um, Dang. 26 plus 3. 
Oh, I thought you meant damage for a second. No, I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Good God. Baga. Okay. Baga. So she does eight more damage. All nice. right. Plugging away. Um, okay, that brings us back to Eddie. Um, Come on, Eddie. Uh, big moves, big moves. I like literally, I'm not like a combat character. So Can you buff anyone? Yeah, well, not really. Oh. It's all like very like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to look around and see if there's anyone in danger like surrounding us. Um, like ev- the whole area has cleared, right? Like we're the only yeah, four I mean, yeah, left people around ran. here. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and just give um, uh, Ace a healing word. Okay. And what is the word that you yell that heals me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. Shabuya. Um, yeah, yeah. Shabuya. Roll call. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? My name is Ace. Yeah, I oh, like to man. play. Yeah, yeah, my name is Ace. Ace. Yeah, yeah, I like to play. Yeah, Shabuya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shabuya. I think I think the word is like part of the incantation, so it's some magical word that she kind of like says under her breath. Shabuya. Abracadabra. Shabuya. No, everything. No. Let the Holy Ghost language come up out of you. No, stop. I hate it. Um. Yeah, and so she just kind of mutters this word. Her eyes flash gold again, and she like looks directly at Ace. And you get six points of healing. Ooh. Hey, nah. And she's going to um, back away from the Banshee. Cool. Uh, Attack of opportunity? Yeah, Quest like mark? disengage? I don't have disengage, but she's going to try and she's back away. She's going to back away? Okay, yeah. so I will take an attack of opportunity. She doesn't really recognize 11. that it's giving you advantage, Cal, so. That's fine. What did you say? That's 11? Totally 11 fine. to hit. Uh, miss. Nice. So you successfully back away? Not that uh, it's not really helping, to be honest. <laughs> well, it, I'm not hitting anything. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter. All right, it's going to take a um, swipe at the hyena, and it's going to roll an eight. So it misses, and that <laughs> is <laughs> Cal's <laughs> turn. Okay, Cal puts the rapier back in his backpack, <laughs> and he goes, this thing sucks! <laughs> and then he pulls out the silvered daggers okay. that he has, okay. and he's going to make an attack with one of them. And he rolls a 13. That hits. Let's nice. go. Nice. He does... And it is engaged with the hyena, so you right. can... Right, I get sneak attack. Get sneak attack. Ooh, he does... Sneaky attack. Eight points of damage okay. with the first attack. And then he's... Because he's pulled out two daggers, he's going to two-weapon fighting hit with the second one. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Natural 20. Yes, let's go. Nice. Let's go. Uh, so what are we doing? Doubling the dice? Um, your call. Let's go with... Yes, double the dice. Double the dice. He roll uh, six points of damage. Six points so of damage. fourteen total. That fourteen. Turn. That's a good. Turn. As he just starts stabbing into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's a very good turn. Okay. Uh, um, it's not looking too good. Cool. Good. It's not looking too good. Excellent. Cool. Um. Okay. So that makes it Ace's storm. All right. Ace with uh, his heightened confidence and the uh, uh, even increased confidence from the healing word. Uh, We'll switch the bow out for the shotgun and <laughs> approach the banshee. <laughs> we're killing ghosts with shotguns now. Yeah. Bro, we're in a crowd. <laughs> okay. It's got buckshot too, doesn't it? Buckshot. Sure does. <laughs> Gonna pepper him up. Yeah, yeah, isn't it a sawed off shotgun? It is this is from episode three, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the sawed one. Oh, it's the one you got from the guy. Dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go for you it. You better hit, dog, or you're going to jail for murder. <laughs> yeah, no problem. That is a 18 oh, to hit. Man. No, yeah, 18. All right, that does hit. That hits. Uh, roll damage. All right. Okay, I thought you were going to jail. He goes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nine points. Of- no, wait, wait, wait. I rolled the wrong dice. I'm so sorry. How dare I'm, you? I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, stop rolling tiny dice, bro. I don't know, man. 16 points of damage. Wow. Okay. It's looking real bad. Uh, okay. As you shoot it, I go, dude, careful. Because I'm like right next to it <laughs> along with Hey, I dude. hit it. I hit it. Yeah, but I'm standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, giant hyena has a bad time. <laughs> she just like That's tries the name to- of the episode. <laughs> 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 yeah, she tries to bite at it and just wildly misses and just like snaps her jaw and kind of flies past him a little bit. 
Uh, so that brings us to Ed. Dude, I like that where we find like the most, like just the weirdest One phrase line. and be like, that's the episode title, and then that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eddie's gonna try and run Edna. forward with her uh, pocket knife and try and hit it again. She's gonna go Edna mode. Edna mode. So she steps forward and tries to stab it. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Edna. Mode. Ed, she goes Edna mode. And that Engage. is a 23 to hit. Let's go! Okay, roll hey damage. Not. Oh my gosh, Edna's... Five points of damage. How would you like to do that? Let's go! <laughs> Edna's gonna become the popular kid. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, so she's like, she clutches onto her pocket knife and she takes like a look and she goes, no, I'm gonna help this time. And she r- r- lunges forward and does like a really like like a lame stab like it doesn't look cool it's not what yeah 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 Yeah. it's just uh. like fully like (laughs) yeah just Uh. extending the arm and that's it like it doesn't she doesn't put her body into it but Uh for her that's like she's trying her best she's doing it um and uh it just happens like i think what happens is like just the way that she's running forward she like trips a little bit or runs forward too much and it's just the way that she like sort of stumbles forward it <laughs> happens to uh-huh. kind of go into the into the ghost uh-huh. like not even on purpose yeah yeah um but it lands right in the center of it okay and with that you hear the banshee lets out one final but much weaker sounding wail and falls to the ground and kind of it, it hits the ground with a thud and 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 like almost like in a poof of dust, like on this like dirt road, right? And kind of poofs and the dress kind of just like falls flat into the ground. And you see that there's like maybe a little bit of ash left on the ground. She stands there. Hey! You do it! She puts both her hands up in the air and starts jumping up and down. Let's go! That was amazing! And she goes and she gives you all hugs. You. I got it. You I did got it. it. You hit it. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Who yeah. do you think you are? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, Ace. Eddie. <laughs> no, that's like, that's the mood she's yeah, in. It's like know. that guy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Um, yeah. Wow, that was incredible. That was awesome. Oh, my gosh. And you see... um some of the people start like kind of peeking out of the like shops that they ran into and come out and, and they kind of, are, everyone's like kind of muttering amongst themselves. Like did, the, did those kids just save the town? Did Eddie just wait, what's happening? And they're all kind of just like talking and kind of coming towards you guys. Oh, they're all staring at us. I this mean, yeah, Ace's people nightmare. are coming towards <laughs> you. Yeah. June actually sees out of the corner of her eye. Um, some people that she notices are familiar and turns to Ace uh, I think your parents are coming towards us. Would you like me? To, I can get us out of here really quick. Would you like to leave? Would you like to leave? What do you want? Uh, 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 you uh, uh, he's just like so caught up in the moment that he's just like. Uh, 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 okay, and June uh, will wild shape into a horse. Oh. And like, indicate for you to get on if you want to. Uh, and your parents, you you now see your parents are kind of starting to walk forward and look kind of confused. I. I I'm just, he's just frozen. Okay. He was so confident. I okay. walk up now. To, he's I walk up frozen. to Ace. Uh-huh. Like, and I'm like, hey, man, you're going to go? I, 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 they're coming over. You, you can stay if you want. I, uh, and I'm, June I, drops. I can't, I can't drops leave. the horse. <laughs> uh, and you, Cal steps back from Ace. Like a little ways away. And you see your parents walking towards you. And your mom's... Wallace? He looks like a deer in headlights. (laughs) Wallace, is that you? Uh. Oh, Wallace. And just runs over to you and wraps you in this massive bear hug. And you see um, your dad is you know, a couple, a couple steps away and trying to keep on this, this, you know, he's, he's a well-respected man in this town and is trying to keep a straight face, but you see him trying to fight back like tears. Um, and your mom just starts sobbing into your, into your shoulder. We thought you were dead. You were gone. I didn't know what was going on. And, and you've been gone for so long. Where have you been? And she backs up and like grabs you by the shoulders. Where have you been? Uh, 
and he just kind of caves too and just starts cr- crying with her. Uh-huh. And, oh, I've missed you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, it, it was all too much and I, I, I shouldn't have left, but it, I, I couldn't deal with all the pressure and I, I know it was wrong that I left and I, I, I'm sorry. You must have been worried, but I, I didn't know what to do. Oh, oh, Wallace. And, and she just wraps you in another hug and then your dad kind of walks up and puts a hand on your shoulder and son, son, you're, you, and just like wraps his arms around both of you guys and just kind of, he starts crying too. And June over in the corner is, this is, this is really sweet. <laughs> yes, just oh, no, no, no. I was thinking June would hundred percent have another candy apple. She has apple. a candy apple in her hand and she's just this is so this is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> and this candy apple's really good. <laughs> oh, I just love this day. Um are people like swarming us? Uh, yeah, a lot of people are starting to walk over and a lot of asking questions and and um, yeah, like the, like there's a crowd now and you're kind of like bumping around and people are asking you lots of questions and I, I, how would you react in that moment? I think, if I may, I think Edna, I'll give a little insight into her psyche too. Um, she has craved to be noticed and to be some sort of center of attention as a cool kid and was never the cool kid. And so now that she's getting attention and she's accomplished what she set out to do, which was to be helpful, valuable to the group, I think she's suddenly very much like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I am not used to this. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. So she'll grab onto, I'm assuming June is nearby. Mm -hmm. She'll probably grab onto June's arm and and to Cal's arm, too, and just Mm -hmm. kind of be, like, Mm -hmm. wide-eyed, like, oh, Mm -hmm. what do we do? Mm -hmm. She won't do anything, but she's like... What about Cal? I think in this moment, he is very focused on Ace and making sure that the interaction that he's having right now is not hurting him and just kind of watching and probably getting pushed around a little bit from the crowd, probably mostly trying to swarm Eddie for, you know, actually killing the thing. But it's almost like the crowd doesn't really exist for him and he's kind of just watching um and then looks somewhere and gets nervous and then kind of snaps out of it and tries to like look at his friends and as Eddie like grabs him and he probably snaps out of it a little bit uh and tries to like get people to not get too close be like all right yeah we're cool and try and like help with that situation Mm -hmm. yeah i think i i'm i think that like eddie's kind of like wrapped on like not wrapped um like his arm and arm on one side and june is on the other side of you and they're kind of just like almost forming a little bit of a barrier for um ace and his family as this Mm -hmm. is happening and trying to like and and june is trying to like answer people's questions a little bit and just be like hey back up give us some room please like everything's okay we're all safe now you know and is trying to help control the crowd while swinging around her candy apple in her hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Cal's doing the same. Yes. Yeah. I think they're all just kind of, and, and I assume Eddie's a little bit more just kind of in shock. Yeah. But she'll stay there. If she recognizes yeah. that you're like making like a, Hey, don't go past this area. Mm-hmm. She'll like stay there. Yes. But she definitely doesn't like, she's not really drop doing much contact. Yes. Like, physical yeah. contact. With I you think, guys. I think the, all three of them are probably doing the same thing. Kind of all staying together. Um, um, Cal, do you think that either or both of your parents are here? Well, Cal knows that his parents are there. Okay. Uh, in fact, when I was saying, yeah, he kind of stared off somewhere yeah. and got nervous. What I was, what I should have said was he makes eye contact with someone yes. yeah. and is like, shoot, mm-hmm. like I should, Cal, you know, unbeknownst to most of the players, sure. but Cal's family's whole thing is to try not to make a scene. Yeah unless it's a very positive public thing. Mm -hmm. But Hmm. anything that could possibly lead back to secret work of what they do, 
any sort of skill set. Ooh. Pulling out a sword in the ra- and randomly in the middle of town that's diamond encrusted and gold encrusted is not something that he should Ooh. be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So that's kind of on the back of his mind, but again, he kind of snaps out of it. Mm-hmm. Do you think to in help that, his friends in that moment when you kind of had that panic? Do you think, like, can I roll an insight check? Do you think there would be an opportunity? I for don't that? think. I think it'd be real Very fast, quick. Okay. especially mm-hmm. with how much chaos would be uh-huh. happening. They're I surrounded don't think by people. Would, yep, would that's fine. It. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. It's almost like a slow mo event, if you yes. know, like it's just like everything stops for, a second for him. Season, yeah. But then, like, yeah, he snaps out of it. I think um, Ace's mom and dad are kind of just asking him to, you know, explain what's going on and keep hugging him. And they're still crying and just kind of confused. and <laughs> But but just so happy that, um, that Ace is back. So they kind of just keep asking him things. And soon the crowds start to die down. Um, is there anything, Ace, that you want to say in particular to them? Or do you want to just you'll explain it? Well, yeah, in the in the in the moment, I think uh, at first all he can get out are the very few words that he said, along uh-huh. with just like blubbering the words. Sure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, because yeah, yeah. um, it's that kind of moment after reuniting after four years. So there's a there's a lot of like uh, there's a lot of like guilt, but also there's um, a, a sort of joy behind like reconnecting again. I'm sure they have like this happy little reunion moment and then they probably go get lunch or something after and then there's maybe you'll go back to their a house for a little while <laughs> conversation yeah sure yeah mm-hmm. i would say that ace and his parents they they kind of eventually as the crowds have died down they go off to lunch um and that leaves um june and cal and eddie um are kind of in the square as people have started to disperse and they're kind of trying to pick up the pieces of this little festival that was um, destroyed. And I think people are talking about, well, we should still do the parade, you know, like we can still do it. This is a, pe- this is a wonderful day. We should celebrate, you know, so they're kind of trying to get set up and people are still around. Um, so Ju- June will um, turn to Eddie. Eddie, are you Okay. You did amazing. Thanks. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got it. You're so powerful. We knew you had it in you. I thought I'd feel different. Yeah. Like once I killed a monster, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's not as life-changing as it seems. Well, I was useful. I was valuable to the team this time. You've been valuable every time, Eddie. Yeah, but, like, not really. (laughs) I don't think that's true at all. You bring a lot to our group. You're so smart. You always know so much about the places that we go and the things that we're supposed to wear. And you're good at talking to people. And you always can, like, become another person almost way better than I can. And you don't let stupid things like people thinking that you're wearing a costume, you know, drive you crazy. You're really important. Well, that that made sense. Well, yeah. I would have been mad if I was you too. Yeah, okay. That's good. But anyway, you were very valuable to our group. And you did amazing. You did so good. And and we're so proud of you. And it was awesome. Right, Cal? Yeah. What? Huh? Eddie did great, right? Eddie. And he looks at you. Eddie, you were awesome. That was sick. Yeah. She smiles. Thanks. Yeah. I assume people are still like taking pictures. Some, yeah, yeah. You, I thought you were great. That was that was awesome. That takes a lot of bravery to run up with a knife and stab somebody. Mm-hmm. You totally I, got yeah. everyone she she slayed that beast. Oh no, Okay, no, this don't do that. Ba, 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 ba. Maybe we don't What? We don't she need to did. Do that. I don't need yeah, to that's true. Uh, okay, um, she didn't slay the... It's oh. too late. It's too late. I, I don't know what you want from me. So I didn't Guys. I really pick up on the vibes, you know? There's one thing <gasps> that we need to do. You're right. And it, I think it'll make us all feel better. Okay. I think I know what you're going to say. Let's go get iced coffee. Absolutely. Let's go get iced coffee. And we should also check the book on the way. It'll also give us a little bit of privacy from what just happened. Yes. Yeah. A little okay. overloaded. It's a little overwhelming. We're- 
Where yeah, do you think bit. we should get coffee? Ooh. I think bumpkins. It's a bit of a thrill. Oh, bumpkins? Yeah, bumpkin, bumpkins, donuts. <laughs> bumpkins. <laughs> or wait, what's the big one? Oh, Calypso. Yeah, Calypso coffee. We should go to Calypso. You uh, think Ace is going to be yeah, okay? Yeah, we turn around. Is Ace still with his parents? I assume. I think they left for lunch and they told they told us that. We'll I mean, I soon. guess we'll give him some space and we'll see him in a week or so when we... I think it's really good for him. Go to the whirlwind again. Yeah, it'll be okay. Do you have the book, Eddie? Yeah. And she pulls out the book from her backpack, opens it up. And you see that next to save the day, there's a little check mark. <sighs> we Let's saved go. the day. I saved the As day. We saved the day. Eddie, you saved the day. You Did. saved the day. <laughs> she I'm closes so the proud. book. She has a huge smile on her face, so much more energy than at the beginning uh-huh. of the day. And she goes, wow, I really thought that this would be the worst day ever because we didn't get to travel anywhere. Mm. But turns out we still got to fight a monster. It turns out I still got to kill it. Yes, you so did. did. I give her a high five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Calypso. Okay. So the three friends, I think arm in arm, walk over to the Calypso coffee. Cal isn't super happy about the fact that they're arm in arm, but he begrudgingly is like, Do we yeah, have right. to be arm in arm? Yes, come on. It's fun. Right. We, we did could such just a good walk. job. All right. But it's just, it's just cute and fun. Fine. Jameson sees me, he's going to make fun of me. They have a wonderful little iced coffee from Calypso. and See, doesn't this perfect the ritual? I really, this is the perfect end of the day. I told you. Perfect end. Pretty wonderful. It cools you down enough. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. And do you love the, do you love fall now? Wait, before you answer, think about this. Think about you the ritual. You can do this all the time. Think about the ritual. For the next couple Think months. about it. Think about the ritual. Think about it. With that, with their iced coffees in hand, I think these three friends head on back to the um, observatory and place the book back on the pedestal or place the book wherever they keep it. I don't think they keep it on the pedestal because that initiates it. Um, they know the parade is later in the day. And so I'm sure June would tell her friends, meet me right at this spot. We're going to watch the parade from the best spot. Uh, and Why is it the best spot? Because you get a perfect view of all of it. It's up nice and high, so you can see the top of the float and the side of the float, and everybody from the float can see you, so you get to, like, wave, and they throw you special treats sometimes, and it's just wonderful. And you can hear the music really, really well. And it's right above the popcorn booth, so you can smell the popcorn the whole time. Okay. So I'll meet you right there. I guess. Against her will, Eddie ends up showing up. I'm sure they have a wonderful, wonderful time celebrating fall. (laughs) (laughs) Alyssa's <laughs> <laughs> crying, crying in real life <laughs> so excited for mom. Oh my gosh uh, And with that I think that's the end of our episode Wow 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 wow, wow wow Man, Eddie was feeling really emo. I didn't plan to do that. Okay. And then I was like, I feel like she would be emo after the last episode. She yeah. would be in a bad mood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was great. Because she was just stuck two weeks. And I just love I how... I hope it wasn't too emo for you no, guys. No, it was fine. And I love how totally unintentionally on my part, it was her that did it. I know, it was great. Yeah. Like, I just love it. that it, it always works. works. You can't write it. Well, it's kind of like, it's kind of lame because it's like basically like... She got the kill for the monster, so she's like a little kid. Like you give them the lollipop and they're happy yeah. again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, that's kind of what's happening, yeah, and it's like okay. it's kind of lame, but also it like it kind of makes sense for her though. I feel uh, like. yeah, Eddie's like not. It'll be interesting to see how that impacts the next time. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I'm the excited. F- the fame of yes, of doing what yeah. her life looks like now. That's mm-hmm. true. And I'm interested yeah. to see how Ace is doing with his family. Yeah, yeah how Ace. Cal is doing. Ace is in. Ace is probably gonna have a whole different sort of situation after this. Oh yeah, yeah. this is some major big time. We'll need to do major a little ca- recap yeah, with absolutely. his character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This one. Absolutely. Oh yeah. All right, folks. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. It was a pleasure having you. We hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time on the Whirlwind Chronicles. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time. We should come up with a jingle. Ready? On three, we're all going to do a jingle. Ready? Snow. One, two, three. It's a jingle. And the night is and young. It's time yeah, and we're yeah, going to yeah. head and we're out. Yeah, it's yeah, going. Yeah, 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 yeah. So everyone, <laughs> good night. <laughs> you could listen to our next episode if you want to. Hey, it's Alyssa. I play Juniper the Druid. Thanks for tuning in. 
We love getting to record this story for you. Let us know your favorite adventure so far by leaving a comment, shooting us a DM on Instagram, or sending an email to whirlwindchronicles at gmail.com. I'll see you next time on the Whirlwind Chronicles.